And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Maybe. Is that what you had in mind? Sure. So aggressive. I'm really coming out of aggro on a Tuesday. We really do. It doesn't feel that. I'm not, I'm not that aggravated in life. I'm feeling all right. <laughs> I had a rough go coming in here, though. I In the elevator coming up. Yeah. Little, I'm going to say Filipino gentleman holding two boxes of what I believe to be by my Scooby smells was pizza. And I wanted to. Are you going to maul him? I, want, I was hoping that. My excuse to get pizza was the elevators got stuck for three hours. Uh, I would have lived with that Filipino guy for three hours. You would have taken uh, no, you not being on the show tonight. I'm very sorry. Stuck in an elevator for three hours for two pizzas? And I had to eat two pizzas to stay alive. Yeah. It was sustenance. It needed to be done, G. It needed to be done, Dan. <laughs> uh, it is the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Jay Okerson. Sure is. Who uh, almost mauled a man for pizza. Oh, God, How really- many days have you been on the diet now? This is a uh, second week. I think this is second week. Yeah, so Wait, ten days, eight, eight days, eight. <laughs> yeah, eight whole days, Dan. That's good. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I don't feel like you're proud. Oh Are you proud? God, you're bringing that diet energy at Tell me. How good I look. <laughs> Yeah, I go like this. What if I told you this, Jay? It's Pizza Jay on the bonfire! Oh, oh. motherfucker! Um, Look at Christine just went. She melted down when you said that. What if I said pizza? When I said pizza day, are you sad too? Are you in a bad mood? You guys seem I'm fine on the. On, you were great on the lost tapes. I didn't even notice it. Might have been. No, I'm just I feel like you're really just, coming at me right now. Just one food. Oh, I want bad, bad food. Like delicious food. It really, it really is just such a boring diet. Yeah, not this good. bucket of shit Christine's put in front of my face constantly. She's you just gotta find one thing. Gotta find one thing you like. No, I'm a skinny guy. I can't talk shit. We can't. I've been tall, find... I've been tall and lanky my whole life. <laughs> we so can't, can't find even... the one thing we like because you have to eat this fucking boring chicken and, and fish. That's it. It's sex Vegetables. With, it's sex I made with condoms, dude. Last night that <laughs> it's was... responsible. Yeah. It's, it's fucking diet and exercise and sex with condoms. It's very responsible. Responsible life. It's oh man, boring. Me and Christine. Uh, we ate dinner last night, and then we're able to like have sex later, which is such a not normal thing. Oh yeah, dude, you got to do you got to do the thing where you go. Well, let's fuck before the food gets here because we're I just going to be pot bellied pieces of shit. I always did that. I, I did that with my ex <laughs> with Indian. We ordered Indian food. I was like, we should probably fuck right now because I'm about to be blowing ass. <laughs> <laughs> this naan with this garlic naan dipped into chicken tiki marcel. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Sorry, babe. There's nothing like, wait, wait, wait. Do the balls a little. Up. Oh. <laughs> Hip. 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 What? Hot one. Come um, It's very rare. I don't think we've ever done that. In fact, that was a sign. You could tell an, an energy change in the room from one of us sometimes when one of us would suggest, like, I'm really hungry. Let's order food. Let's order food and eat now. And that would be the other one would often take it as like, oh, I guess... Somebody doesn't want to fuck tonight. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's what sucks. You forget that being single, you forget what it's like to be in a relationship where, where there's fights like that, which oh, yeah. really just come out of nowhere. Where you're like, what does that mean? And you're like, I just, I don't know. It's just like, there's, me and roommates aren't home, so I thought, and you're like, but oh, oh, oh. I thought we were going to eat and watch a movie. And they're like, no. And, no, it's fine, whatever. And then you're like, so why are you... Uh, Dude, all my Fuck presentation that of that I'm ready to have sex is very... Your dance? Your Jay dance? <laughs> it's a dance. It's a presentation. No, it's a very like... Uh, it's a very like... You I, stomp your feet? I flap my own he pecker around a bunch. with his own dick a bunch. Really? Yeah. yeah. You, you do uh, you chip, you chip <laughs> zoo pregame? She walks by your cage and you start just jerking off staring at her. <laughs> what Jay is doing is he's making eye contact with you to establish the dominance. J- the Jay has made his move into sexual assertion. Ah, he's moved from viewing cops into trying to copy <laughs> yes. his mate. It's uh, he's still sort of watching cops. Ah, <laughs> ah the Jay mating dance. <laughs> Dude, last night I was definitely putting the vibe out a little bit, I felt like. Yeah. And then nothing was happening. And then when we got in bed, Christine went for it right away. And then I had a little bit of like, I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, our, our egos are so stupid because that shit happens all the time. We yeah. go, well, now you do a dance for me. <laughs> well, if I start like falling asleep on the couch, she's yeah. like, oh, I guess it's a wrap. 
Oh, that's what you said? You go, it's rap. Not like that. Okay. Not like that at all. Girls' impressions of their boyfriends no, going, might be one now. of my favorite things. Because they're always like, oh, I don't know, can I play Madden? I don't know, can I play Madden? I go, seriously, the real can reaction? I, though? I just got Jimmy G on the Niners. I was going to say, the real reaction is such like a, uh, you're like, hey, what do you want to do? You're gonna, like, if you're going to fuck around the computer for a while, I'll play some... You know NBA 2K or something exactly. She goes and then he just comes at night and it's like, do you do the computer? I'll yeah. Play by the way, 2K it's, the it's, NBA. It's never in the moment. It's always the day after to a friend mm-hmm. where you have to. You, where you, it's like a court trial and she's like yeah and then i came home and you remember you didn't even want to fuck that night because you're all like don't go be mad and you're like that's not even how the fucking conversation went. <laughs> so I was like, why would a conversation go right there you fucking you seem to want to play madden i guess yeah so so uh but you, new diet definitely makes it so it's nice to eat and feel an energized and not feel sick i mean i, I do like Christine's eating healthy keeps saying energized weird. like she's fucking <laughs> susan powder <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not energized at all. I'm still tired as much as ever, and I'm, I don't With know. With my diet, I'm going to bring you energy, <laughs> complex emotions. And by, what if I were to tell you, with my diet, in three months, you can run a lap from floor all the way around your ceiling back down to the floor? If I told you, you could just grab the ceiling and hold on. That's how powerful you'd be. Yeah, it's you're, but it's good. I mean, you guys are eating responsibly. I mean, we'll see if, if either of us can actually, I feel like... There's a lot of dieting going on, and nobody ever really has body changes. But me and Jay have both done this before. What if, We've dropped significant amount of weight. I'm just gonna throw this out there. Yeah. What if we all start doing HGH? Oh, eight, human, human growth, growth hormone. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Black Lou's on board. Jacob, right, you do cool? Do some stem cells? Fix your neck up? Yeah, dude. You're fucking, fucking back yeah. here itself. What's up? We would roam the hallways of Sirius Jacob. like a band of <laughs> Vikings. <laughs> Jacob, Jack what if I were to tell you you'd be? More human than human. <laughs> Jacka. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> that was Thunder Kiss 65. Uh, yeah, I say we do HGH. Let's do a round of it. I'll do it. I'll and, definitely and do lift. It. How do we get it? Dude, we got, we got campers. <laughs> do we have any campers who were drug smugglers? Dude, you know what's funny about this? We're saying this completely as a joke. But what's funny is to get But you that. know, we're saying completely as a joke. But if you're going to send it, it's uh, 1221. Two, okay, if you could also send Seven. details and descriptions of how to use it. Just on a Sunday. By the way, Jacob is really into the idea. His eyes are lighting like, up. He really is. He's like, you think I can. HG8, human growth hormone? It's you don't know what it Jake, is. If you can't be a five foot one man and never even heard the term human growth hormone, I'm about to blow your goddamn brain. <laughs> Holy shit balls! Yeah. What? Oh god! As someone that's been looking at everyone's chins for uh, your whole life, you're I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> your life is about to drastically change. The problem is you're offering me thirty years too late. Oh well, what if I no, could told you? That's not that. true. No, dude. You, we'll tack another thirty on if you just being a beefcake. My stepfather, while he doesn't do it, big believer in mild, uh, low dose. Like testosterone or HGH, yeah. it's like the fountain of youth, man, for sure. They have all those fake ones. Justin Silver uh, and I have talked about it. Yeah, he's sixty-one years old. <laughs> Did you know that? Sixty-one. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I really thought we were going to Holy Jacob. shit! I thought we had Jacob on. God, he's fantastic. We shouldn't. Have, we should have just played it. So the next time he sees Justin's Justin, sixty years old. Sixty years old. Sixty-one years 60 old. Sixty years young. Sixty years old. Born in the fucking sixties. Can you I sure? Is he the godson of Jack Lane? Absolutely. Yeah. No, uh, HGH, dude. I would totally do it. Can we get it? How do we get it? Let's, no, let's do 80s steroids. Let's do like D-balls. Let's do like the ones that like... Oh, yeah. They, 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 let's go back Equipoise, to like... Equipoise, the horse ones. <laughs> yeah. Let's go Lyle Zeta. <laughs> <Lyle's laughs> let's go Lyle Zeta on these this Fucking Jay's buck kicking the fucking fridge open. <laughs> I can't get these fucking handles oh. with my giant hands. Oh, ah! Dude, so, ah! Soder fought Chipotle again. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Soda's downstairs owning Chipotle. <laughs> Guys, I want extra guac. Protein. Yeah, dude. More protein. Let's do it, dude. Let's do it. I this just is- don't know what the real good stuff is because I think that there's injections and I'm finding it for sale, but I. No, I want some fucking. I want bullshit. some unstepped on. Yeah. Pure. I want, pure. I want shit coming from Mexico, from cadavers in Mexico. Oh, dude, rip it out the <laughs> adrenal gland of a dead man. I don't give a shit. I want to fucking get. You get the finest Mexican and you take whatever's in him and uh, put it in me. I want to be more humor. Than- <laughs> you uh, want to see me energized, Chrissy? You want energy? You give me fish in this shit? Oh, uh, dude. Jay and Christine is just super jacked up HGH. 
<laughs> so what do you want to do? He goes, dude, I went over to their house and they just, uh, they fight. Arm wrestle, see who rides who. I go, their, their fighting is like, uh, it's like Terminator 2 where they just push each other through walls. <laughs> Christine, did you eat the last tiger milk bar? <laughs> did you finish the creatine powder and not refill it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking power bomber through a marble <laughs> counter. <laughs> I like these. Christine's back is just all pimply and jacked. We're both wearing the same kind of sweatshirt with a giant neck cut. That's out what of I'm it. saying. The scoop, the deep neck. <laughs> hey, Christine, I gotta ask you something. Uh, before you went to the tanning bed, did you uh, did you have that last ten thousand calorie shake? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, someone told me at the gym that my. Spray tan was getting patchy in the back. You think maybe my fucking bitch would have told me that <laughs> before sending me out to look like an asshole yeah. in this tied knot at the top tank top I'm wearing? He goes, You know, this is my good Colts, Jim. <laughs> he goes, The bad one's on laundry day. Captain D, by the way, bringing it back to how Jay gets ready for sex, Jay's mating dance. <laughs> Captain D says, Nothing, he tweeted, Nothing wrong with some self fluffing to set the mood. Well, now we know how he fucking gets it down from Nicole G, right? I mean, I guess Just it's. Just flap like, it around. Is self fluffing kind of like when a guitarist It's not self fluffing. That's not what I'm doing. I'm tapping uh, Morse code into my thigh with it. Wait, you're, Christine, you're, no. dip, you're dick slapping it? <laughs> you're doing the, Are you doing the bottles from Warriors? <laughs> Christine. Christine. Come out and play. I feel like it's a lot of like tugging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what that is, though? Uh, if women don't understand this about when men do that with our dicks, it's because it's like when a guitarist goes around and just hits the strum once just to see what it is. Goes, <laughs> yeah, that's there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, let's start it whenever you guys want to start. I give, it, I give a tug. So also, by the way, then I can find reasons to like half present it. Like, like, <laughs> like, I'll, like I'll scratch my balls a little bit, but I'll be like... Uh, and I was like, you know, I'll pull my dick out and look at something on it. Like, is it, what am I getting a hair back? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, cool. It's like pulling, that's like you lifting your shirt up to show the gun. You yeah. Go, yeah, I got one right there. <laughs> just in case you want to go. Everybody just know. be a big problem for you. Everybody just know what we're working with right yeah, now. Yeah, I just want to show you what I got right here on my hip. And that's it. <laughs> is this HGH stuff? <laughs> I mean, we got to look into this if we're just going to get all super jacked. You have to like, get it from France. Yes, that's what I want to get, that kind. I want to go Iceland. I want France shit. I want big Viking HGH. I don't want some French. Oh, like some from Norway? Frog. Yeah. Can we get it from Norway? Can we please? Yeah. Can we please Can get, get it right from the salivary glance of Magnus for Magnus? <laughs> oh, dude, I would love it. A dude that just threw boulders on stands? <laughs> Rip his fucking... This oh. to me and Dan. Guys, the next live bonfire, watch me and Dan toss <laughs> beer kegs over a wall. <laughs> oh, dude, the first bonfire log... <laughs> Bon- bonfire log toss <laughs> coming to the stage Jason Aurelius okay here I go you be Jay Van Okerson yeah okay personal record uh, yeah Dude, here the comes best, the best are the wives the strong men's wives cause they just fucking scream at him <laughs> Dude, <that's> the- <laughs> York Dude. Yorky Florkin Herc How have we never talked about this Have we never talked about this The wives of strong men <laughs> no. Dude I used to get high And watch ESPN 2 <laughs> in college Dude these women Just fucking scream at him Like ah! Ah! And the guy's just holding up a truck. He's like, ah! his and nose like, starts bleeding. Dude, 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 they're great. And they're like, Can you motherfucker! Dude, it's the fucking best. How have we not talked about this? Oh, man, this is a real commercial. We're taking that French HGH. Oh, we're going to get so jacked. I'm going to get me a fucking strongman wife. St- try it. St- uh, it's strongman wives. Just Google strongman wives. <laughs> it has to come up. If Google's worth any shit. This will come and up. And if not, bing it. Dude, bing it, right? Huh? Did you ever meet, uh, encounter like those roid heads in, in high school? Because my um, stereotypical. I, I don't remember high school yes. being. Roid I don't remember. I mean, either. I remember. I, I know at the University of Arizona, um, like the student rec was huge because they signed like a Nike contract. So they built this like big ass rec center. Mm hmm. And all like the frat guys would be there just juiced. Really? Yeah, I hate it. I worked out uh, at like the offsite gym, like like someone like a, who's really. You went to a Planet Fitness. I went to. Um, I picked things up and put them down. 
big bear bear down bear down gym, which is in um, Revenge of the Nerds when they get kicked out of their oh, frat yeah, yeah. house. But that's also the weight room where Darcy's working out. Uh-huh. Is that's the weight room I worked out in? It was still the same, like seventy style. It was, that equipment, yeah, it's grungy as shit, rusty. Yeah, but I liked it. And then because it wasn't with all you the felt fucking... Clubber Lang, right? Uh, like all the glitz and glamour. You ain't the real journalism student. I'm the real <laughs> journalism student. Paper, I know you paper. You a paper philosopher. <laughs> you paper graduate? <laughs> I'm the real graduate. I got a real degree in the streets. <laughs> hey, pretty lady. Hey, hey, pretty lady. Why don't you come over here? See what a real professor's department look like. Why don't you read a real thesis? <laughs> mm. Hey, partner. Hey, group partner. <laughs> uh, did you find it? No, it's just videos of like strong men's wives working out. Oh, uh, try to find maybe then just bring up a strongman competition because I guarantee to the side of the camera angle you will see a woman <laughs> screaming her fucking head off, dude. I Magnus. Uh, these are like in gyms. No, this is the kind. I'm of talking stuff. about the ESPN. We'll look this. By the up. way, we'll I spent. By the way, I spent a childhood of being at those Dude. with my stepfather, put, putting a skin tight, fucking uh, f- a skin tight shirt on him, and then helping him like spotting him as he bench pressed. Do you know how much better that is than, than what me having doing to, drugs in the streets? No, than me having to go to an indoor pool and watch my mom's boyfriend swim the four by one. Fucking way cooler. Yeah, Joe Dude. only talked to me uh, in. French cut underwear in his downtime. It was never in a public place. Dude, like you Joe, my Joe would come out of the swimming the fucking backstroke like this, yeah, yeah, just in a white speedo, and you're bulged like, up, dude, just front bulge. Did you have a fat one? You, Noth- nah, nothing that I was worried about. You weren't impressed. No, nah, I'm like, Ooh, <laughs> didn't meet the soda standard. You got to remember, I remember Gary and I. Gary used to sleep, which, by the way, I sensed that my therapist was like, yeah, that's not good. That your dad was just drunk, sleeping naked in a pullout bed while you're in your pajamas. Like, this is cool. You're like, why was the problem with that? He never. T- Touched me with it. That's what I said. And my therapist was like, yeah, that's not the point. And he, he goes, goes, not that you remember. Yeah, I go, dun, dun, dun. put me under, Alan. I need to learn. He's, you're not Dan, fucked. You're listening to the Moody Blues and booting HGH into your arm at night. <laughs> 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 Just Daddy! <laughs> oh, crush the skulls of all. Um, yeah, your Joe was, uh, nah, was yeah. worse. Well, my Joe wasn't bad. Your Joe was great. My Joe was great. Your Joe's still around. My Joe is fucking living legitimately in Costa Rica with my mom's ex best friend. <laughs> or it, what was your mom's ex best friend? Now her ex guy friend. Yeah, ex. Because now it probably they probably got sex changes in Costa Rica. No, Why would you move to Costa Rica? I have no clue. To Fuck open, them all. Open his own fucking boomerang store or something? He probably. He's a piece of shit. He uh, he unloaded bags for a while at DIA, and so every flight back to Denver, I would just look out the window trying to find him. <laughs> so he'd be like, "Fuck you, fuck you." Hey, this Joe. is you, Dennis. And then you're this like, "This is you, Dennis." Then you see him like, "Oh, really?" He starts yeah. opening your bag like, "Whoops!" <laughs> no. Oh, so your pants didn't it's make win- it. It's your win- pants didn't make it onto the belt. It's winter. I, he pulls out a br- he pulls out a brick of heroin and puts it in my suitcase and zips it up, and he goes. <gasps> I love you're shooting up the fucking bird from the window. Fuck you, Joe. Yeah, get my bags, you bitch. He just looks, he pops a brick of heroin into your bag. Hey, I think it's when he's an extra checkup. He goes, he goes, uh, oh. He flips me up, he goes, oh, me? Oh. Lifts his pant up, pulls out an ankle gun. He goes, oh. I don't, I don't, no, no, no. Look at this! No, no, Look what we found! No, he's, like, he's, no, no, he's, no, no, he's rubbing no. the fingerprints off of it. Yeah, he does, he's got his hand in his sleeve. <laughs> yeah. Hand in his sleeve. He's like, oh, oh, oh. "Look at this!" Oh, he takes it and he goes, oh, he shoots oh. a dude he works with in the head, <laughs> and then just puts it in my bag. How would you even connect that murder? Uh, How yeah. would you even connect that murder? <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh. <laughs> he murders a guy. <laughs> um, yeah, so you're going to your uh, to your Joe's powerlifting events. Way cooler. It was cool. smells like chalk and sweat. It Mine does, smelled yeah. like he chlorine. Won, I, think, I think he and won. hairless bodies. I think he won every one I went to with him. It was just bench press. Yo, I will I will say this. Uh, big ups to my shitty Joe because dude could swim. Yeah. Guy took the water. Like say every, a duck to the water. I can say a lot of bad things about Joe. The guy, like Johnny Weissmuller. <laughs> Dude, that guy was in and out of the water quicker than you could blink. <laughs> when he came in, he just he just came out of it. <laughs> I go, Joe, I can never forgive you for the years of verbal abuse. I can forgive you for you showing me what true majesty in the water is. You never. cut through that thing like a knife. 
<laughs> like, like a knife through warm butter, you tear through that pool. The worst part about uh, my mom's boyfriend, Joe, was he was super into female, I've said this, college female basketball. I think the worst thing is being into swim competitions at his age. Yeah, 50 over. He was like 50 plus. <laughs> Oof, that was rough. <laughs> this just that's so many weird bodies. How many so gross. old man inverted nipples? Dude, by the way, <laughs> all old men swim in speedos. There's no dude in board shorts. Oh, they don't give a shit. And that care. smell, that's not just the smell of pool. That's like old nuts. Old nuts and clammy water. Yeah. It's like old nut soup. <laughs> it's always <laughs> that's there's, there's always steam in the in the locker room. It's not a steam room. It's just yeah. they just give off steam. Dude, I remember like having Your bodies are too cold. I remember like having to walk into the indoor pool and just being like <sighs> And my mom's like, Joe's up next. I'm like, yeah, cool. <laughs> Are you guys smoking a ham in here? <laughs> <laughs> mm, why does this feel like the inside of my forearm on a summer day? <laughs> What's, is, Are we living under someone's tit in here? <laughs> is this a giant's knee <laughs> behind a giant's knee? Can I go to San Francisco and watch dad kill himself? Because <laughs> this is we're doing way this, worse damage. This is killing me. <laughs> yeah, this, slowly. Yeah, dude, that was powerlifting, though. Uh, I went to a powerlifting. My friend uh, Mark was a powerlifter in college. He's he was crazy like, shit. Yeah, dude. He had a bench press shirt, which were like the denim ones, where you, which I some I think yeah. some powerlifters oh. think they're illegal. Uh, he had My stepfather had a denim one before. So yeah. They're so ridiculous. I passed they out like on one. like straight jackets. I passed out on one. What? They were trying to get it on me. Now, first of all, just picture me <laughs> 70 pounds heavier than I am. Okay. And... To my stepfather and another gigantic, muscly dude <laughs> trying to get this thing on me, and just like try, I don't know how to discuss. It's like trying to put a, it's like trying to put a condom onto like a fucking soft egg. like a fire plug. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? It's like the size doesn't work. The best, and it's all right. So every time they're pulling down, like my organs and fat and skin are all being pushed down more. It was the most ridiculous thing, dude. But the best, and like is- we can get it on you. It's gonna add like sixty pounds to your bench, and then they're. They're powdering me, and then I was sweating, and they finally get my head through my arms, I guess. And I go, I'm going to pass out. I'm going to get And then I just start sliding down the wall with my arms out, and then my stepfather goes, yep, get them out. And then they have to, like, I think they're, like, putting their foot on my head and pulling it from the bottom, trying to push me through the fucking thing dude, to get me out of it. Dude, the best is the They used to blast open one of the funniest things when they just blow apart in the middle of lifting. That would happen at those meets. Never happened. Wait, they would happen what? The those shirt- shirts just blast apart. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Did you ever see weight come down on your stepdad like hard, like a like a heavy? No, but I've seen it happen to people. You know what's funny now? They don't even use the shirts anymore. That now they have a thing that just goes over your arms and goes across your chest. Just does the same exact. Really? Just the science was probably there for a long time. They go, guys, we can eliminate a lot of this denim. (laughs) <laughs> guys, we can the dungaree factory can't fill these orders i'm gonna tell you guys right now we can cut our denim costs de- next to nothing <laughs> uh yeah power is like a thing where the accidents are terrifying oh yeah oh yeah power like wait look at it particularly like, i mean and we will, bench pressing ones i've seen it and we will take the satellite radio podcast world by storm in our power lifting because we'll become a power lifting team people do people do crazy shit with whether they smell like these uh my stepfather had all this stuff too, like smelling salts and shit. What, just to get jacked up? Yeah, and then you but you see these guys would do it, and they like headbutt a wall and shit. Did you see the guy recently? Uh, I think it's on World Star Hip Hop. The guy trying to break the, re- I think he did break the world record for deadlift, and his fucking nose just starts like you're like you're dying. This guy? Is it? No, this isn't him. I don't think. Do the nosebleed? Nosebleeds. I mean, that's it right there. No, it's on the side there. It's on the side there, Christine. Down, down, down. This. Yes, the picture of the guy's nose bleeding. You're doing great, guys. I believe in you. This diet's at. This is, yeah, look at this. This is crazy. Oh! Dude, wouldn't that just make you be like, you shouldn't ah! do this. You shouldn't ah! do this. <laughs> Stop it. But wouldn't you? Th- I would think that my like my eye juice is leaking out of my nose. I would I'd like, drop, happening. I'd immediately drop it and go for my face. I'm such a bitch. I'd Me be like, too. Oh no! Right when he goes over, he goes, "Cause can I eat Cliff Bar?" He goes, <laughs> "Cool, man. Yeah, I just need to juice back up. Just get some protein." <laughs> you guys gonna be HGH in here? Oh, dude. There's no way a girl could go from dating that to me. Where she goes, what do you do on Saturday mornings? Do you want to eat seven eggs and then just go do fucking dead squats? I'm like, do you want to eat a waffle and watch wrestling? 
Was that not you? I know somebody who said they saw, like, when you see your ex-girlfriend or something goes with a guy who's just doing, like, some kind of weird karate or something. Dude, <laughs> just got abs so and, like, crazy funny. flying kicks. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. I showed, it's like, it's like, oh, I showed I... you the video of uh, the guy doing backflips with kettlebells. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, I found out she didn't bang him, but he wanted to bang her, and I'm like, you should have. <laughs> Why didn't you, This idiot. dude's jacked. Um, I would have. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Should we take our first break and then we'll come back? And have some, We have a fun guest coming. We have a fun topic for when our guest comes in. We have it's a gonna, fun show. It's going to play into the Lost Tapes a little bit, but it's uh, we thought it would be fun to have the callers get involved today a little bit. Oh, Lost Tapes are good this week. Uh, oh, yeah. It's going to be hot, sticky, <laughs> fucking sweat. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh. The crushing, bummer lyrics and awesome music of the Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah, fun music, real bummer lyrics. It's all, they're so depressing. Yeah. I got into a, a wormhole of Smashing Pumpkins this weekend, and I said I was going to, I wanted to come play them today. Yeah, because I only know uh, surface level yeah. Smashing Pumpkins. Um, so does the rest of the world. I get it. Yeah, I understand. Hey, everyone, this is the bonfire. We're bringing back that 10th grade cool kid energy. I'm Big Jay Ogerson. That's Dan Soder. If Whatever. you want to watch him live, and if you even give a shit... If you care. He's going to be at Rhode Island Comedy Connection uh, April 27th and 28th, if that's your fucking thing. That's your And then thing. also the Loft Comedy Club in Chicopee, Massachusetts, if you're into that stupid shit. Yeah. That's April 29th. That's going to be one great New England weekend. Lame. After that, catch him at the comedy mix in stupid Vancouver, May 3rd through May 5th, if you even care about that dumb stuff. Stupid. It's not even a part of Canada that has, like, their own thing. Yeah. It's, like, dumb. It's, like... Good luck with all that. Yeah. Ew. That's May 3rd through the 5th, and you probably have nothing else to do in stupid Vancouver. Jay's is going to be... So, for tickets and all our tour dates, I guess if you even have, you know, Wi-Fi... Go to DanSoder.com. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And check out season three of Billions. <laughs> Sunday nights at 10 p.m. on Showtime. But for real. Also, we're going to be at Moon Tower. Hell yeah, we are. Uh, April 20th at Antunes. Go get tickets right now. Go to MoonTowerComedy.com for tickets to see us at 7 p.m. on April 20th. Oh, yeah. Uh, Big J is going to be at Hilarities in Cleveland, Ohio. That's a place. It's a real place. A lovely the place. The land? The land. I know currently it is a place. It's fourth place underneath the Sixers. Oh, that's right, Cavs fans. Suck his dick after he makes you laugh. Oh, this is suck my dick. I'll make you laugh. And then suck my dick. Oh, man. April 26th through April 28th. <laughs> after that, he's going to be headlining Caroline's on Broadway in New York City, May 3rd through the 6th. Tickets and other tour dates, go to BigJComedy.com. I couldn't imagine how that would have been if that if the... The Cavs and Sixers were in the playoffs that, that first round. If they were like four and five, <sighs> could you imagine that? And I was, and I was going to Cleveland that weekend. That'd been nuts. You could get to see it. I'd have gotten murdered. No, a, I don't think Cleveland terror. fans are like Philly fans. No, but Cleveland people are. Doesn't matter. I would have been out there big dog True. and shit. Oh yeah, they would have just thrown you in an incinerator of an abandoned factory. <laughs> Talking all kinds of smack hole. Oh yeah. Is uh, Joel Embiid coming back? I don't know. Christine, any news on that? Go to the sports desk, Christine. Uh, Christine. Checking in with our HGH correspondent. Christine, are we going to get jacked like horses? I think there's I think, an article asking, are the Sixers better without Joel Embiid? I knew that would come up, but no. It, it always happens. It's been like half and half. They've been killing teams with Joel Embiid and without him. That's well, the, the Nuggets beauty. are winning, so why don't we just... They're doing fine. Them. They're good. Okay. They're, they're going to make the playoffs, playoffs tonight. They are. Tonight, they're, they're going to beat get... Timberwolves. Wednesday. Yeah, uh, and they're going to beat the Timberwolves. Thanks, dude. They're Only. Good. If we make the playoffs. On TNT. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, First thing you got to do, got to uh, come out there. I don't like, I don't like the uh. um, We were talking about uh, your stepdad's powerlifting before the break. Fucking guns. Can't, still fucking strong as shit, my stepdad. He's like pushing 60. And just, does he still work out every day? Yeah. They own a gym. They started a gym. That's crazy. Yeah. They started a gym. Uh, my brother was running it. And then the devil got in him, and then he had to stop doing that. And now my parents just kind of run it themselves, I think. Okay. Yeah. Is it a fu- Do you ever go work out there? We have one. I worked out there. Yeah. It really feels like a training facility. It's like they decided to go with a weird, like, 
indoor outdoor carpeting <laughs> thing. Okay, in. I kind of dig that. It is, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. But they have all kinds of like it's CrossFit esque yeah. without being like uh, too cross. Is that it? There's a gym right there. Yeah, it's really. Oh, nice. it's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, like for people. It's people really up. based around lifting weights. Yeah, those are for people that fucking work out. That's not like a lot of uh, no frills. Yeah, treadmills and stuff. Really, no, no that's that's for strong people. Yeah, it's like the sleds and the different. Oh, yeah, it's things. all chains and belts and rubber bands. Oh, that's one of the things they have, by the way, that looks so cool. Except for the buried me last time we tried to do it. They yeah. have a thing you put on when you almost have enough weight on the bar that it's full filled up. They put the chains weigh something. You put chains over the yeah. bars too, and that gives extra weight. Just like lifting like crazy weight with chains. Is your there... mom in the corner? Oh, I was my mom in the picture. That's hilarious. Um... Nice job, Tara. Way to stick your face in there. <laughs> hey, way to show everybody you carry around an eagle's purse all the time. You white garbage it's idiot. Dooney and yeah. Burke. <laughs> no uh, one knows what that means. Uh, I'm sure listeners know what that means. Why would you waste an expensive fucking black? Lou, you don't like because you're a Cowboys fan for some reason. Because well, you like dedication. No, I'm, I'm not a the fan star. of Dooney and Burke at all. What? I'm not a fan of Dooney and Burke at all. That's the purses. So you say my mom's garbage straight up all around. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh I don't know if you're playing MTV 2's Yo Mama. Oh, uh, shit. Hi, what's up, everybody? It's Wilder, Wilder, Wilder Rama. Whatever his name was. You tell me. For $1,000, cash money. <laughs> you tell me a better purse to keep your wallet full of Wawa gift cards in. <laughs> huh, Lou? Uh, you got a better idea? Let me tell you this right now. I'm rich in Wawa gift cards, <laughs> and I keep them in my backpack. Oh, look at that. Oh, you like it now, Lou? Get that nope. for the missus. Yeah. Get your white, get your white trophy to fucking walk around with that. <laughs> yeah. Do they have a Niners one? Because I'll wear a purse. I, I know fuck. you will. I'll bend. I'll Can bend we get Dan? Oh, You know what I want? You know what I love about Dan. A uh, sense of guilt is what I love about Dan. It's a great quality about him. Let's get a really expensive man fanny pack, but like a crazy, like Louis Vuitton, something. Yeah. 49ers fanny pack, and then Dan's going to have to wear that fanny pack, at least on Sundays, to go make a purchase. Fuck yeah. He's going to have to reach in and he goes, I'll take the family size box of Fruity Pebbles, please. Zip. <laughs> um, do, you take, uh, wait, do you take WIC credits? Go, hold on. <laughs> do you take EBT cards? Go, mm, my keys are in there. My phone. Mm, my pack. gum. My Orbitz mm. gum. My assorted Orbitz. flavors. My chapstick. <laughs> Um, what I was going to say is, uh, yeah, like the chains thing, is there an alternate, oh, dude, that's awesome. You don't mean that. You don't mean that at all. Go fuck yourself. I mean that sincere. How much does that cost? Fight. 20 bucks. No, I don't want that. I want like a fucking done up one. I'll tell you this. Why Embroidery. Why you, I want, email Asian, me, I want email. Asian kids to have had their hands hurting to make this happen. Feet burned for this thing. <laughs> yeah. Is there an alternate reality where you get super into lifting weights? And you just fucking live that life. Is was there any chance that you were just going to be a f- meathead, Jay? I'll tell you what. I haven't been. I've just been doing semi maintenance currently. Mm-hmm. Uh, Push up, sit up stuff. Yeah. Just so I don't feel like completely doughy, mm-hmm. as, even if I'm losing weight. I know that my bigger problem is having to deal with the food stuff than the exercise. Yeah, well, I mean, that's all I want. But when it gets warm, <laughs> but when it gets warm, I'm going to start exercising again. But. When I was doing cross, I just know it destroyed my back. But when I was doing CrossFit, mm-hmm. it was pretty awesome. Like how I, f- I could just feel like my body was just significantly harder. Yeah. I don't even know if I was like any thinner than I am now. No. Just everything just felt like your neck. Just everything about it just felt like people who come out of CrossFit, they come out jacked. They come out. Like I didn't a- get jacked at all. But no, I mean, but like, like in a in a way of like under their shirt, you can tell there's a lot of strength. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I mean, my shoulders, like everything, just yeah. felt like much. But I, I mean, mean, I live across the street from that CrossFit, and I, I just walk across real quick. Like, sorry, guys. Dude, if I lived across the street, I would just do it, man. All right. The, the bummer of me is it's just an annoying enough trip to make it like a thing every day. I, I but across the street, man. I was <laughs> watching them do pull ups. In that weird, goofy way, and I was like, "Man, I'm good." The kip ups, kip ups. Yeah, but I have to do it with a giant rubber band, like a cartoon. Like I'm trying to fling myself to catch the road runner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, gotta, dude. you step into a giant rubber band, and it pulls you up. It really is, looks like it's cheating. And it yeah. is, but still, like it all. It's great though because you get the motion of it, and you like I've never been able to do a pull up, and I could do it with these bands. And you move down to ones with like less resistance. I my shoulders and upper body completely changed doing CrossFit. I actually do. Wish I could do it like at least once or twice a week. I gotta go to the fucking gym. Are you guys, well, once we get on our HGH, which way are we going? Are we going fucking weights or CrossFit? What I'm saying, what is very weird about it, and it maybe I don't know if it's a personality trait in me or a lot of people have this, but when I was doing CrossFit or when I was running, when I was jogging for a while, that's yeah. kind of why I switched from CrossFit to um, treadmill running, but like a, yeah. a set time nonetheless, it was so important for me to eke it in. 
You're yeah. Like, well, I just got to go do it. It's, it's an hour. Wolf- and, and, and the thing, but I'll tell you what, you get, I don't think it takes more than getting a few weeks away from it, from just schedule, oh. to just be like, I can't find the time to do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was a time where you're like, I have to get this. Like, I got it. Like I won't five be, days I, a week. I won't be able to do it tomorrow. I have to do it today. Yeah. I gotta, you know, whatever. Wolf runs like, uh, she'll be on the road and she'll run like 17 miles. And she's like, she's into it like that. We're all calling her back. Like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm running. Yeah, like, wait, I that's get it, too though. fucking. She's much. a ginger. They have to work a little bit harder. Oh, to they keep do. It together, they run from their emotions. <laughs> they run from their hair being on fire. <laughs> They're constantly running from fire. It burns. It always burns. <laughs> what, Michelle? <laughs> My hair. Ow. Ow. I don't know. Why I'm doing Ralph Wiggum for Michelle. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Super Nintendo Chalmers. <laughs> but um. When you're out of the rhythm, though, man, shit. That's where you get lazy and fat, dude. I mean, when I was putting back those fucking bags, I didn't even get fat doing this. I didn't like go. And, I didn't ever. I never stopped working out and just went like, "Fuck the world, I'm eating whatever." Yeah. Also, like we never went back to eating the way you used to. You see, fast food. Me too. Like fast food, f- five nights a week. I you didn't eat. care what you'd eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You but didn't also, think about. It didn't even matter if I was like, if I'd have dinner with Carla before I went to work, and like a real meal mm-hmm. at. Three in the morning, I'm going home. I'm still like, I'm going, I'm driving Arby's. through Arby's like a motherfucker. <laughs> Arby's! And I would just do that. That was like on the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or or McDonald's or cheesesteak right. place. Whatever was open. I never, it was, it was never even like, you know what? Let me settle down. Let me just get a wrap. It was like the sandwich. Let me get a hero, a bag of chips. And every, I never even thought about it. Dude, I used Christine to started playing with her nipples. She's so hungry when I said that. I, I, <laughs> I didn't start playing with I, I, I was like, oh man, just a sandwich and bread and chips. She went, oh. I moved right. my Shut bar. Up. You, just, Shut you up. just heard her go, yeah? <laughs> I watched that scene from Cream Friche, the uh, season finale of South Park, season 14 finale. It's my favorite scene in South Park, where he Ooh, calls that... the the um, Food Network hotline, and it's like phone sex. <laughs> and he goes, hey, what's up? Just uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> just took a pair and uh, chicken out of the oven. He's like, yeah? <laughs> and this Cream Friche? Dude, that, it's so goddamn funny. He goes... Uh, what do you, what do you, all these brown specks are under it. He goes, yeah, yeah, you want to glaze the fuck out of that chicken. Right? <laughs> Dude, it makes me laugh so hard. If I was there, I'd, I'd definitely help out. I'd probably get some red wine, you know, qu- quarter cup. I'd glaze the fuck out of that chicken. That's one of the f- funniest episodes. Cream Freeze. Cream Freeze is one of my favorite episodes. Um, oh, right here. Oh, that's already too late in the episode. It's uh, in the beginning with the phone call. Uh, Kevin in Florida says he had to make his wife quit, quit CrossFit. Because she started getting traps. Kevin, you there? That is, a, I get that. <laughs> That's dude. That hilarious. Can they, can get, they can get, there were some smoking hot chicks in CrossFit, smoking hot, but you could see when they were working out, it was like a little bit muscly. I'm not really into a muscly chick at all. Kevin, so she was muscly? I want my chick to be doughy, man. I look at, I was looking at her from the back and like, you know that muscle in between her neck and her shoulders? Yeah. Bigger. I'm like, fuck that, dude. You're a chick. I don't need to be like thinking of you as the Hulkster. Yeah, you're there. not. Wow, like, what, a, you're, what a great thing for a woman to get to hear. Yeah, he'd be like, hey, baby, I love you, but I feel like I'm fucking Chris Spielman in a wig. <laughs> 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 you know, giant hey, this is great, but if I wanted the fucking action figure, I'd go back. <laughs> hey, He Man, I'm trying to get off here. Not wonder what your fucking secrets are. It is. I mean, like the uh, here's what's amazing about. I mean, the that. asses become even the grossest, most muscular one. The uh, for something about the way oh. CrossFit, it's so squat heavy. Yeah, that the asses are just perfect, even on these dude torsos. Do girls who are like super jack like that want to fuck dudes like me who are just like dad bodied and just like Bleh. oh completely yeah, yeah. do do they, they? oh I think so no yeah. they don't they want to fuck a dude that's jack like them dude I'm telling you a lot of it's, it's a lot of mismatched couples coming out of CrossFit for sure look at that girl's butt yeah they all have great butts but it's but I mean uh, I, I mean you're worried she's gonna like fucking like clean and jerk your dick off your body yeah. with sure. her hand yeah. 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 Yeah! Oh! Oh, oh, oh God! Oh God! You ripped it clean off. She goes, yeah, no, but it was a PR. It was uh, a PR, though. I ripped, I ripped it off in seven seconds. All right, we got fourteen more of those. I go, what? Yeah, look at the asses, Dan. It's crazy. I mean, they're just yeah. it's crazy. They're fantastic. Yeah. Well, same thing like UFC fighters too. Oh, right so it's like anybody, any like weightlifting athletic chick is going to have a great butt. No, but that's not necessarily. CrossFit particularly because training to fight is like you know you get in good shape from just training the fight this focuses a lot on ass it's a very ass heavy workout I have a really firm ass Dan 
Yeah. I have a really <laughs> firm. I want you to pay attention to me when I say this. Yeah. I have a very f- weirdly firm ass. You have a good for ass for a fat man. Really? I don't have a good ass. No, Christina, back that up. I do not have a good ass. It is not pleasant I to look at. I have a bad butt. But I have a weirdly hard ass. So you're like firm. <laughs> yeah, Sick. Christine, no. Yeah, firm. very muscly. Muscle butt. A muscly ass. Can we get you with a shelf on it? Can we, <laughs> can, can we work you out until you get a badunkadunk? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, dude. I'm be wondering great. how much after this, di- after this diet, though, I'm going to want to jump in there working oh, out. God damn it. This is the call. Oh, mm-hmm. God damn it. I'm so happy you found This is the Cream Freeze call. We're calling the Food Network Hotline. Billing is nine ninety five for each 60-second period to accept, say, Cream Freeze. Cream Freeze. Hi there. I'm Amanda. What are you up to? <laughs> oh, hi. I just uh, thought I'd give the hotline a try. Wh- what are you doing? I'm making a pan-roasted chicken. Pan-roasted? <laughs> like seared on the stove and then put in the oven? Uh-huh. I've just taken the chicken out of the pan. It's so moist. I'm going to let it rest now, about five minutes. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's lots of brown bits stuck to the bottom of the skillet. You're going to deglaze that fucking pan? Oh, I'm going to deglaze it. You want to help me? If I was there, I would. I'd take some red wine, about a quarter cup, <laughs> and then... A wooden spoon, and I'd glaze the fuck out of that pan. I got a wooden spoon right here. It's pretty hard. <laughs> this is the best when it goes back yeah, on. You can put some onion in while you're deglazing. I was thinking about shallots, actually. Oh, yeah. Shallots won't overwhelm the chicken's natural flavors. <laughs> fuck yeah. Randy Marsh! Yeah, dude. Fuck, dude! Your time on Food Network Hotline uh, has expired. Dude, that is one of my favorite scenes. I, you know, Jay, our friendship started over talking about Randy Marsh, but that's one of my favorite Randy Marsh scenes. Oh, absolutely. And hey, Kevin, did your wife get in a fantastic ass? Uh, yeah, I mean, her ass was looking good, but at the same time, I just didn't feel comfortable with her doing workouts that I did to play high school football. Also, workouts that you probably can't currently do. Yeah. <laughs> you walk in, you, she goes, hey, all. you know, pick me up pick me up for dinner. I'll be at CrossFit. You go in there, and she goes, just got to bang out a hundred more Turkish kettlebell get-ups. She <laughs> goes, oh, what? no, this is my boyfriend. He jogs sometimes. <laughs> yeah! 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 I was over that shit. I shut that down real did, quick. This did is my you, boyfriend. He eats hot dogs and spaghetti. <laughs> I, I, I also, yeah. He's Joey. This is my dough boy. Uh, I also heard that at CrossFit, a lot of the people start fucking each other. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. I heard it's like just a fucking Petri dish for cheating. Dude, mine, the one I used to go to. Yeah. Let's get just, to this salacious part. It, it just unwound. The, I mean, literally, like the two guys who started it, like... Left there, or one, maybe one didn't, but one did like leave his wife for a chick in the thing, and there was like fist fights in front of the kids and shit. It I just want to let you know stuff. right now that I am super fucking jacked up on my workout of the day. I just did my wad, and you coming <laughs> here and disrespecting my dojo like this is super offensive, Cassie. But there was something about, man, I'll tell you, like, I'd go somewhere between five and six o'clock, and then driving into the city at like nine, I'd yeah. leave Long Island to go into the city for spots. Yeah. And just like knowing like a couple hours before, I mean, it was like you did some pretty crazy shit in that hour, and it's only an hour. What I did like about it too is it is an hour, yeah, front to back. Hour. I mean, from warm up to everything, warm up, weightlifting, and then the actual wad. Sometimes those wads with the workout of the day, yeah, were eight minutes long. But but brutal. it was fucking insane. Well, they're saying with uh, CrossFit, sometimes people overtrain with CrossFit, and then they end up getting this condition where muscle fibers get into their uh, blood. Right, that's why I stopped, yeah. Yeah, because you were doing it too I was going to get out of there before it got into my blood. <laughs> that's what I, I was like. I didn't want to say it was your story. I was waiting until I was waiting until you told everybody about your upcoming bio, biopic. <laughs> called Muscly Blood? Yeah, it's, it's called Muscle Blood. <laughs> muscle Blood? <laughs> yeah, the Jay Okerson story. Blood muscle. The Jay his, Okerson story. His parents owned a gym. <laughs> I don't want to work out, Mom and Dad. And then he got into CrossFit. Why did you stop? You seemed to have loved it. Um, it was Location mainly. Oh yeah, when I moved into the city, really, it was. Uh, Why don't you? Just there's there's got to be one in the East Village. There's one on the Lower East Side. I said it's just far enough away. It's on Ninth and C. Oh, there's that one. Is yeah. there one close to the? Is there one close to here that you could do before work? I'm not. God bless Jacob and Louis J Gomez and all the people who can do this. Working out will never be in the, I was already showered living my day, I go work out, another shower, get back in the, that'll never happen. I get it. I'd rather, I'd rather you have to carve me out of my house because I can't fit through a door anymore. (laughs) Then to do that. Then to take two showers. Then to take, no, then just to break my day, that, 
I already, uh, Christine and me have had this conversation recently. I like being in the shower. I like the feeling of a shower. I need a shower and I require one every day. Yeah. But I hate the burden of having to do it every day. Like, I, get I look it. I look at that as part of my day. It's like, oh, I've got to fucking shower first. When am I going to shower? Do I run to this thing first and then shower? I'm kind of uh, softer on it. I, I really enjoy showering and sometimes I smoke weed and listen to music in the shower, which is great. But While you're it, in the shower? <laughs> just like, popped, just, just sitting naked, <laughs> ripping a fucking joint, <laughs> sitting there in a I shower chair. <laughs> I have popped out of the shower, opened it, and grabbed it off the sink, and you're just going, there you go. He goes, oh shit, is this little river band? Hang on. <laughs> Ooh. It looks like this, it looks <laughs> like iTunes. In the iTunes went into a little fog hat. <laughs> Ooh, time to take a little. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, I love smoking weed in the shower. I Do I still have your dork hanging out and you're like just sitting in some weird position on the side of a shower? But it's like, it's not like a flattering dork hanging out. No, 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 out. It's no. Like no. The ball sack's under it, so it's up and in. So your body's just, rolled a little. Yeah, yeah. You're like, it's, uh, you just got a little pig dick. <laughs> he goes, I don't care. No one sees me like this. This is me, comfortable. Did you ever. We must have talked about this. Did you ever. We had to have a shit while you smoked a cigarette. Dude, that was my thing. <laughs> that was... I, we had to talk know, about this. was my favorite thing. We must have talked about it because I think I've said always what I find weird about that... I loved it. ...is that I've done it a few times in hotels when I was younger. A naked shit and poop. Not, uh, naked uh, smoking shit. Not full... I've never shit fully naked. That's it's, uncomfortable. Uh, shitting fully naked? I, I can't do it. There's what? no way. Not a chance. Well, I, mean, to put a I don't even on. fuck naked. Well, oh, okay. Well, I mean, dude, you got to try shitting naked. If you feel like Before a fucking naked? Yeah. <laughs> you think that's the step I should take? Yeah, it's the baby steps. I, uh, but smoking a cigarette... And it was funny, the first time I ever did it, the smell of that... I know. I can... Sent even me saying it, I can smell Sent it. me flying back into... My dad asking me to hand him something in the bathroom yep. and open the door while he's smoking and Dude. shitting. And then I go, oh my God, no matter how different human being shit smells, it's the, same the smell. mix of shit and cigarette is 100% of the time exactly. It's an identical smell. I remember that the same exact thing. You can make and it a flavor of ice cream. When my friend Zach moved to, De- to Queens from New York, and he moved with his girlfriend, and we moved in, I smoked, I chat and smoked a lot, and his his ex-girlfriend who was living with us at the time was like, don't do that. And I was like, first off, uh, you're not paying rent, so I'm going to do that. But then my friend Zach goes, dude, it reminds me of Frank's house. His dad, he's like, dude, that just brings me back to my dad's house. And like, yeah, because smoking and shitting is the best. Oh, uh, yeah. I enjoyed doing it, but that smell started to bum me out. In the middle, I'm just like, no, nah, oh, really- I'm still on board. It sounds, it. it smells like sickness. It, it smells like you're doing something wrong in life, like a, like a barn animal's dying. Yeah, in it's a great it's a, way. It's a bad, 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 bad. No, smell. man, I miss smoking for that reason. Oh, naked shits. Why are you taking a shit? Oh, I'm just ripping a camel. <laughs> just when, you, when you when you light it, you did that in your, your apartment. Room. Oh yeah. That's such a boy thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a very dude thing for <laughs> such sure. Such a dude thing. But I, I, I know any picture... girls that smoked and shit, and I knew a lot of girls that smoked, but, but it like, wasn't... Like, I never once smoked just, a cigarette. It's a really, by the way, it's a really funny picture of a girl, like, just panties around her knees, just yeah. sitting on a bowl holding, like, a Virginia Slim. Sure. It does not look right. I used to smoke in the it's a real. All it's the a time. real you're giving up on life, like, elbows oh. on the... on the Dude, it's forearms. <laughs> elbows on the quads, it's, and you're just like... Yeah. Four forearms <laughs> looking down and be like... And then you're just doing a lot of thinking. You're like, yeah. yeah. <sighs> <sighs> there it goes. Uh-huh. Can, an adult, uh-huh. can an adult do it? I'm pretty broke. Can an adult do a paper route? <sighs> yeah. I gotta just say, oh. oh, dude, I saw the fucking, speaking of paper route, I don't know why, and smoking when I shit, because I did this when I got fired from K-Rock. They're bringing back, shit in the smoke. They're bringing back uh, al- alternative music to K-Rock's old call center. Really? Yeah, ninety two point three. Oh, they bring it back. It's yeah, been right. that, it's I've, been that way since Christmas. Your Christmas. <laughs> Won't you? You don't read the trades, Dan. <laughs> you don't. Play, what, what's the What's the radio magazine? R R R I R or something? Fuck. Um, radio and records magazine. R and R records magazine. It was like the big one when I worked in radio. We were like, drew the new R and R. Like, I don't even know. You didn't check out the trades. You didn't hear. Is that it? what it is, Jacob? At all. Oh, you guys are acting like you guys didn't hear. Seacrest just got syndicated in four more cities. You guys, he just picked up Tacoma. That's pretty big. <laughs> That's pretty big. I don't know if Scooter, you guys noticed. Scooter and the Buzz just won a Marconi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, the Dragon Hour is actually being put on all <laughs> Clear Channel stations. RBR. 
What do you understand. say? Should we take our second break here? We, is our guest here? Oh, let me check. Oh, dude, if he's here. Shits. Oh, by the way, I can't live it down that DeRosa and Keith had to wait yesterday. DeRosa hasn't shut up about it. Oh, really? So like, he made me. I know it's like a joking thing, but it's yeah. like, yeah, motherfucker. We were out there for 15 minutes. <laughs> Guys, shampoo. We made a lot of promises to Joe about this morning what we were going to do breakfast, <laughs> Starbucks. It, the whole trip ended with him knocking on our bedroom door going, all right, guys, I'm out of here. We're like, love you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, last night were you guys like, Oh, how about as far as other uh, information we found this morning? How about we've not said this in a live show so far? How about a big congratulations uh, yeah. to uh, Gail yeah. Bennington? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Gail Bennington. With child. With child, adding to the Bennington clan, Gail Bennington. That's a good clan to be a part of. Great. I mean, Ron gets to be someone, someone gets to have Ron as a grandfather. That's the fucking coolest. He's the, well, and still the funniest guy ever, because I sent him a Ron big Bennington. congratulations yeah. to oh, yeah. being a grandpa, and he wrote back, you're next. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> like, my daughter's 15. Oh, that's son great. of a bitch. Take <laughs> it back, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that's great. Oh, I fucking love it. All right, let's take, a, let's take our second break. We'll see if our guest's here. It's the mother. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. That was, yeah. That was just fun to watch. It's trying to get loose attention. Uh, no, I'm ready. How about watching you go? You go. And good to go. And there we go. Whiffed it. There you okay. Go. Up. Yep. Uh, come around again with it. Oh, uh, and lost it again. Uh, it's the bonfire, everybody. We're back. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. Big Joe Gerson, Dan Soder. We are joined uh, from the Come Town podcast, everybody. The hilarious Nick Mullen. Hello. I would say you're the... Would you call yourself the brains of Come Town? Uh, no, I'm definitely not the brains. And the uh, brawn? And I, yeah, are you no, the brawn? I'm kind of the leader. You're the leader? The right, pack right, yeah. leader. And then Stav is your underboss? Yeah, sort of. And yeah. then Adam's like the uh, lawyer. Right, yeah. That's how it breaks down. Lawyer, down accountant. He's Jewish. Yeah, right. Real exactly. Cool. Because real he's nice. Jewish, and the Jews are <laughs> real good. lawyers and bankers. He goes so. real good, <laughs> real good. I mean, yeah. The cart. I'm respecting the hell out of the cartoonist mustache you've been rocking for quite some oh, time. Oh, the because uh, you yeah, stuck pencil. with it. You know, everyone's making fun of me for it, and then Stav grew one. Everyone's like, "Great mustache." Really? I guess because the rest of him looks like shit. So <laughs> he does one thing. Jay just got <laughs> underlit real quick in a weird way with a flashlight, where it just came up. I was like, "Are you telling scary Obey. stories?" Obey. Mustache talk. Yeah. Somebody said I look like gay John from The Simpsons, which is, <laughs> yeah, I know if that's your only understanding of who John Waters is, yeah, it's hilarious. That is it, but yeah. that's honestly how I know who John Waters is, <laughs> so I get it. That's not true. Yeah. I mean- John, That's how you found John Waters? Yeah. Was through The Simpsons. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, then I then I realized he was based on the act. It's like from the other stuff I saw, but that was like the first he's not time based was, on, he was he's based guest, off he's guest who? starring. I mean, I'm saying like no, John Waters. I realized the stuff he was in and other stuff from The Simpsons. But what do you think John Waters was? He's in? like a fashion guy, right? No, what no. is he? He's a director. No, I didn't filmmaker. Know that. I just knew him from The Simpsons, dude. I just admitted I only knew him from The Simpsons, and you're acting like I'm. You're blown away. I think it's just weird. You don't know who he is. I don't watch. That his, surprises me. What films does he? Uh, hairspray, he did. Yeah, Cry hairspray. Baby. The original crybaby. Pink flamingos. Pink flamingos was the famous. That's the where they got the tranny guy to take a shit and mm -hmm. then like eat it or eat real dog shit or something. Wait, what? Yeah, divine. You've never heard of this stuff? No. Oh, you should check out John Waters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you like pocket pussy videos, you like John Waters. <laughs> yeah, that's we were also mesmerized. Uh, I mean, if you're getting lost in that, I mean, you might as well get lost. Dude, in we it. all were. This entire studio. You never saw Crybaby with Johnny Depp? No. Really? Yeah. That seems weird. I don't know, dude. Is, I, are, I was a latchkey kid that only, like, I had access to my own TV, so I, I didn't everybody show me cool movies. Black Lou, John Waters? No idea. I mean, he was in the, he was in, like, the Jackass movies and stuff. Yeah. This is so funny. That I, I knew him from The Simpsons. I opened this with, like, can you believe someone would only know John Waters from The Simpsons? And I guess that's pretty much everyone's experience. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think there is a key demographic of idiots that it hits, me included, okay. where I'm like, no, right. I got, I'm most of, there was a lot of stuff where I had to learn backwards from a reference in comedy, uh -huh. where I like heard something and I'm like, ah, I know that's, that's funny. That's why all these people now, and like, it's in the last like year and a half, I hear people go, oh, oh that's a real Sophie's choice. And it's like choosing which child is going to die in the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah. It's plastic or paper. <laughs> it's just a choice. It's a it's simple not, choice. It's, it's a, a choice. choice. Yeah. It's not a more 
moral choice. Right. It's a simple you choice. You haven't yeah. seen that movie. You don't you know what lay, you're talking about. You should lay heavier stakes on a Sophie's Choice. Yeah. If you're I, go, go on. I go, goo, guys, McDonald's or Taco Bell? Real Sophie's Choice. Real <laughs> Sophie's <laughs> Choice here. One of them One of them gets punished right. to oh, yeah, death. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we were, uh, Nick came in and we were talking about um, getting on HGH mm-hmm. and uh, just getting, you know, huge. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Fucking, it's just a jacked soda. Uh huh. Oh, dude, I'd f- all comedians should be jacked. <laughs> <laughs> if, you want, if you want spots, you gotta get yeah. jacked. Yeah, you gotta bully the bookers into yeah, giving yeah, you yeah. spots. Dude, you gotta go joke. the Berg route. You know, yeah. you, you just punch next to their <laughs> head and go, "What's up, pussy?" Yeah. Available Friday. Aaron yeah. Berg's in the Joe Piscopo route. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I get so strong, they'll have to put me on SNL. <laughs> this guy's doing HGH, and this guy's snorting it. And this guy injects it into his bun. Either way, it gets in our bodies. <laughs> Did Pisco- what's HGH? stand for homo gay homo <laughs> hey. all right you're gonna love this crowd okay. <laughs> did you did piscopo get big on snl or after, after i think he was really skinny for the longest time then he just got fucking jacked isn't that crazy yeah. that that's what he's known for it's like i know he's known for like his frank sinatra but like our generation's like yeah he's known for being a jacked comedian yeah and it was so weird yeah uh, howard and, stern told a story of like them coming him and his wife time going to this kid's <laughs> birthday party mm-hmm. and like they didn't eat so when they, when they served him cake their big thing was they smell the cake and then they put it in their mouths and spit it out or something Ew. like that like that's their way they they don't actually eat it because the carbs or whatever <laughs> dumb. i'm like that's what a so weird thing to do at a birth i'm like don't take the cake yeah. Don't make a spectacle of but yourself at a party. But they do that with other things. Like uh, there's like religions where you, uh, what's it called? They just like stick their dick in a pussy. And they're like don't move. This doesn't count unless I move. Like Mormons do that. <laughs> really? Mor- yeah. Like Mormon teenagers, they'll do like a thing where when I because I you know I'm from Colorado and there's like a lot there's much more Mormons than there are like Jewish people around us. Uh-huh. But a lot some of the Mormons would like do this thing with like it does look it up. I forget what it's called. There's a word for it where they like. St- you like stick your dick in the grill, but it's called you- soaking, right? Y- yes, that's yeah, what it's yeah. called. It's called soaking. Yeah, and they like stick their dick in and they don't move. I'm gonna soak it. <laughs> yeah, how crazy is that? <laughs> that is very, very weird. That's so stupid. What do you do? You just look at each other and say things like, <laughs> "It's warm." You like it's it? really warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's rough. It's rougher in here than I thought. <laughs> oh, don't move. Did you just move? Wait, I can't tell. Am I shrinking inside of you? <laughs> what, it's like, I don't understand, because that's, r- religion tells him to do that. Yeah, right? it's like the way, So like, that God's, like... God's going to see that and be like, you got me. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, is yeah, that, you, uh, I, those read, are the rules. You read the small print. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious, though, how many things, have you ever watched what, like, Hasidic uh, Jews go through to, like, get around the no electricity thing? Oh, Yeah. Like the phone, they have the things yeah. for the phones that like dial for you. You don't really don't touch it. All you yeah. touch, you're only touch, you're touching like a piece of yarn and then like Rube Goldberg machines to like push yeah, a yeah. seven. <laughs> it's a real honey. I shrunk the kids. <laughs> yeah, goes, All right, first number is two, and you got to push a, a marble. It goes. My favorite thing that Hasid's ever did was there was a gay pride uh, two years ago. Maybe it's three years ago now. That it was like on a Saturday or something, so they couldn't go protest gay pride. Yeah. So they hired day laborers and dress them up like Hasids. That's not it's true. It's 100 percent true because really? I was walking through. No, I was walking through Pride. Hey, no, I was walking through Pride and there's a bunch of Mexican like Hasidic Jews protesting the gay oh, Pride parade. I'm like, Shalom. This, I was like, this guy. I, I don't understand Hi. what this is. I thought Hi. it was. You know, like a hidden camera yeah. show or something. Like it didn't make any sense. All the same. Yeah. All the stopping each other. Shalom, everybody. Because, you know, it's not okay to do this. No, man. Hey, can I get a mazza ball soup? <laughs> and maybe a nice... Hi. And a bagel and a schmear? <laughs> <laughs> Look at your tokens. <laughs> he's a covered in door. <laughs> oh, oh, look, he's my booby. I know. Get in here, booby. I have to be afraid of the schwarzes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have the rain money? Because it's already the, it's already twelve o'clock on the first of the month, so technically the rain is twelve hours late. Here it is, Jewish group. Uh, it's from the Times of Israel. We'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM. But it says Jewish group hires Mexican day laborers. Uh, an Orthodox Jewish group hired Mexican laborers to protest for them at the Gay Pride Parade in New York. We represent the Jews. Uh, this right. is bad gay stuff. <laughs> A reporter from the New York Times witnessed the group of Mexican men picketing for the Jewish Political Action Committee, a fringe Hasidic group based in Brooklyn, at Sunday's parade in Manhattan. Well, good for them. 
That's yeah. so Can fantastic. you imagine those guys getting in that minivan in the Home Depot parking lot? And he's like, well, it's not drywall today, fellas. All right, listen. <laughs> good news, bad news. What do you want me to start with? <laughs> bad news is you're going to have to wear this very uncomfortable good. woolly clothing. Yeah. Okay. So rough. They're plenty simple. You go in. You make some moves. You scare the Jews. You tell them the Jewish the people gays. here. The gays run. Yeah. They go home and do whatever they got them. They do with their fishnicket closets <laughs> and suck each other's schmeckles and eat. And over there, and eat and out. They... <laughs> <laughs> I want you, you want to, to scare <laughs> the shit out of them. What do you do? Ah, sneak up on them. I want you to walk up to the fudge packers <laughs> and you say to them, get your schmeckles out of each other's tuchuses. <laughs> Start dancing around and get back in your closets. It's very simple. Look uh, in the closet. It's a big closet. Do you I'm understand? Stay, stay there. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I think so. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. They seem like good people. Dude, that is so fucking funny to hire mm. people to protest for it's- you. The funniest thing anyone has ever done. And it's, I mean, they're the best at comedy. He goes, he goes, Anytime Jews claim to be the best at comedy, you go, you're right. This is it. This is the pinnacle. This is, this is blazing saddles for me. It doesn't get any better than this. At the Bonfire SXM, to see the Taylor Burst. I mean, man. That is why God, and then they don't spell God, sent AIDS to punish male gays. <laughs> He goes, and it's delivered right here in me. Yeah. Yeah. He goes, you go, you walk up to interview him. You go, do you actually believe in this? He goes, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I just do this so I can get my Winnie the Pooh <laughs> denim jacket back from the hairy man they took it from me. <laughs> I don't know. Mr. Fleischman told me I could stop building his pool for yeah. one day to come out here. He goes, I'll tell you this. I'll be back with a snack at sundown. <laughs> you boys worked very hard today. You scared the gays. Uh, dude, holy fuck. I didn't know that was a real fucking thing. God damn, yeah. I know. I'm so glad that it was covered because I saw it and I was like, no one is going to believe. This. Yeah, especially you. Yeah. You, like, if you walk around, I'd be like, dude, I'd be like, all right, sure, Mullen. There's yeah. day laborers dressed as hostages. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's not get so. Yeah. Let's stop pushing your agenda. Right. No, that's like something I would pitch that would r- result in me not. Not being asked back to write on a show. <laughs> you go, what? <laughs> the last sketch I ever came up with. <laughs> he became problematic when he said that uh, seeds would yeah. hire day laborers <laughs> to protest gays. <laughs> He goes, that is outlandish. <laughs> You've been done. Take that to bright. Yes. Take yeah. that to bright part. Yeah. It was a water cooler conversation. I yeah. swear to God, <laughs> someone actually pulled the fucking trigger on it, guys. Don't make me. Oh, there's more pictures. Yeah, at the bonfire SXM, we'll tweet it out. Um. Well, we watched a video, uh, which is on the Lost Tapes. Yes, this will be coming on the Lost Tapes on, on Thursday. Thursday and you know our Terminator timeline. We work all fucked up. But we talked about um, fake sex toy, like fake vaginas. Mm-hmm. And then we watched a video. They make some high quality ass pussy combos. You guys are doing Moon Tower this year, right? Yeah. Now. yeah. Um, is Fleshlight sponsoring it again? Mm, I don't think so. No. Wow. They did a couple years ago. Yeah. You were there then. Yeah, year, right? I used the Fleshlight. I did. Uh, I was. I have a thing about like throwing shit away if it costs money. Did I tell you I tried to bring it through the airport and I thought like, oh, they got to deal with this all the time. And they pulled me aside and there was like seven TSA agents and like a manager and they disassembled it and like fingered it in front of everyone. And, like, humiliated me. Did you? When they fingered it in front of you, did you react? Did you go? <laughs> They go, ooh, ooh, gentle. They're like, we gotta check for wires. Make sure it's not a bomb. You go, baby, baby, it likes it softer. Easy, that flower didn't bloom yet, baby. Who's hiding a bomb in a pocket pussy? I mean, it's someone that's committed. Be fucking genius, though. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, what's great is That's it's the only thing worse than that is hiding a bomb inside of a fake bomb. (laughs) Instead of a replica bomb. There's no check in there. No one's gonna check inside the fake bomb. (laughs) They leave room for it because some of these fake ones. As you pump in your dick, uh, it activates the thing that makes it talk to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, so a torsoless ass and pussy can go. Yeah. Mm, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, it's like the way. Can we bring up the video of how the they guy? They should sells make it? an Alexa that's got the flashlight on the bottom. You know, Alexa, yeah. download uh, Smashing Pumpkins yeah. and let me. Fuck Alexa's that sweet already pussy. a whore enough name. Ale- yeah. Alexa, less teeth, more hand. <laughs> hey Alexa, uh, I heard you. Yeah, Alexa's definitely the name of a girl that blows a Circle K manager. <laughs> hey Alexa, here she is. Oh, this is the video. This is where this guy sells it. And you're gonna hear this again on Thursday, but yeah. it's, it goes worth. a different direction. <sighs> Listen to that bass thump on that. Uh, 
It's for two twelves in the back. To fuck the naughtiest little nympho that's ever talked dirty to you. <laughs> Introducing the Dirty Talk series of Fuck Me Silly Masturbators. <laughs> the first interactive fuck friends oh, from like Pipe Dream to History. That. Toys. That's the fucking meringue. That's the meringue of sex toys. <laughs> it's all there. With a super sexy voice and powerful vibrations for an unforgettable sensory overload. Please fuck me until you come. Ooh, I love your big cock, baby. This is my favorite one. Squeeze my tits, baby. That feels so good. Squeeze my thigh tits. Ooh, my tight little ass is so wet waiting for you. Yes. Your ass get wet. Who's Use buying these things? It's always guys that listen to too wait, many podcasts. The, it's, a, well, it's, a, it's also guys like... Technology. Oh, here it is. <laughs> your hot cock delivery simultaneously <laughs> triggers both the powerful internal vibrations and the loud, sexy, super dirty talk. <laughs> Nick, for as long as you keep pounding. Nicholas, your hot cock delivery can make that happen. <laughs> if you bring enough hot cock delivery, you can really rattle could it. Could you imagine like, how you feel? Like, just fuck animals. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, you know, I, mean, I would have more respect for you if you just had a dog that you fucked in your apartment. <laughs> Dude, just a Shelby that you just rail. Yeah, right, Do you know yeah, what yeah. the bummer would be if you fucking shove your cock in that and your dick doesn't reach the button? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> How much that would fucking hurt you? Yeah, you're like, yeah. I'm giving it up. You got it against the wall and you're just fucking taking running starts at it. Ah, and finally ah. she goes, she goes, ooh, but it doesn't play the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, you're yeah. like, fuck. Yeah. 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 I have to go to sleep soon. <laughs> I have Entering work in the morning. Sleep mode. He goes, I, I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> Can you make the voice like a bored wife who's just like, oh, goes, baby, I can't take anymore. She goes, hey, did you this send This is it? so good. Did you send in the cable bill? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the reason we bring this you up. Gotta, I forgot to tell you, you got to drive the girls to school tomorrow because <sighs> I have a thing in the morning. <sighs> More. <laughs> <laughs> what about some hot Oh, there's, <laughs> shit. there's a dog you can fuck. <laughs> finally. Uh, finally, a pug you can fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we watched a video of a guy. Which you'll hear on Thursday's show. Yeah, we're not going to play that now, but this guy, we watched a guy for, I think, nine straight minutes. But also, real quick, let me say that what we found out about these fake pussy asses is that they're very smart. We're talking about people? Yeah. I found out about these fake pussy asses. <laughs> they're talking shit about us in our fucking studio. <laughs> Suck my dick, you fake, fake pussy, pussy ass, ass pussy. <laughs> fake pussy you ass pussy. fake pussy ass with tits on top? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you fucking fake ass pussy and tits all in one? Freaky combo voice box I can't reach with my dick? Yo, I swear to God, you're about to set me off and my hot cock action's about to make you talk Dirty. Um, so, yeah, so these are some of the videos we watched of dudes just fucking them, but we realized that they're small, so they're like they look bigger. It's oh, it's a child's ass with an adult it's sort voice. of. It sort of reads that way. The yeah. Holy Grail. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you it was the yeah. perfect combination? That's what, I, that's what I want. A five-year-old that sounds like Kathleen Turner. <laughs> keep, keep going. You're really stretching. All right, kid, you're almost there. Hang on. Wait. Oh, fuck! You're hitting the voice box. You're hitting the voice box. Uh, that's you're hitting the voice. Box. That's me vibrating. Yeah, if you fuck it hard oh, enough, a bunch of Virginia Slims come out to piss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I do real good, can I get a lollipop, Daddy? Oh, Daddy, <laughs> I want to meet Santa. <laughs> oh, can I see you laugh? Have I been a bad girl? Uh, Play out that voice box. Play out uh, that voice box. Uh, so we found this guy who was like fucking one in, in multiple different positions, and yeah. he really worked it hard. And then when he came, he's ran, he, he goes to business. Wears a condom for the last third of it, and then we're all going, why that? And we all go, oh, that's going to be the easy cleanup so you don't fucking batch inside this thing and have yeah, to go yeah. explain to someone why you're rinsing out a 35-pound right. well, we fake take, ass pussy in a sink. You have to take the, uh, the voice box of the genius bar. <laughs> take that into Geek Squad. Yeah. How do you? <laughs> you know, I know, it's not talking anymore. Like, I get $11 an hour, man. You know? yeah. I feel like you don't want to come and hit the fuck. You just get shocked by the <laughs> Oh, box. God. Go. Oh, God. My cum is a liquid conduit for the electricity. <laughs> so he's got, <gasps> his, he's got this ass pussy uh, s stacked up on uh, four... Like banquet hall chairs, mm -hmm. and that's against the wall, and, he is thing on it, and he's fucking the shit out of it. And then he pulls out, takes the condom off, and then shoots six of the biggest, thickest ropes of jizz right over, I mean, just dartboarding the fucking it, backs of the chair. It impressed the room. It impressed the room that everyone in the room was like, Jesus. And yeah. then we thought, because you have a, a, 
a, a show called Come Town. This would be a fun <laughs> Nick Mullen topic that we can get. Yeah, call. I remember seeing a video of a guy who had these like enormous balls. Yeah, I mean each ball was probably the size of a mango. <laughs> yeah, that's and, a good ball. Yeah, that's a, a ball. Right? ball. I'm assuming he had some kind of disease. Yeah, and he beats off and he blows. Probably it's got to be like a pint. Yeah. Of, of is that fake nut. though? I don't know. But it's like did that's he ring not, out his nut? It, that's not how it should work, right? Yeah. yeah, bigger the balls, the bigger the nuts. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Is that figure. what it is? No, no. it's a kind of like hydration levels. Oh, this, is, levels the, this or... is the guy doing work. Oh, yeah. those are nice chairs. Look, oh, oh. handless. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Pow. 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 Boom. Pow. Pow. Hey, you thought that one wasn't coming? Yeah, that uh. was. There was after credits. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, laughs to himself. Uh, so we watched that, and then I started thinking. I was, I find myself to be very envious of a load shooter like that. Yeah. So you saw that guy and were immediately jealous. Yes. Um, I mean, it, it was it, impressive. He, just did, he did it handless. He well. did it handless. It was just impressive. All maybe around. that was just a good day for him. I mean, but everybody's I, got one of those in them like once right. a month. Absolutely oh, true. And when very, that happened, yeah. it, it's it's like you didn't know it was going to happen. So yeah, you're like, right. whoa, whoa. There's nothing worse you than You never can tell. Sometimes you think, oh, this is going to be a big one. And then it's like the free glue you get from Ikea to assemble a desk. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're correct. It is like, yeah. and I'll tell you what, I... Uh, I oftentimes think that, but yeah, you get that one, and every once in a while, it's the worst is when that's wasted on like a fucking hotel jerk. Oh, it's for nothing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's all for nothing. It's, mm. um, I hate that, but I am envious of that because I think, I don't know why I want that so bad because I've never even fully, is there a consensus on if women give even half a shit about that? Do well, is there a consensus on whether we give a shit, whether women give a shit about that? I feel like it would be impressive to a chick myself. I, yeah. I don't care. I mean, personally, I just want that for myself. Yeah, that's to all shoot for you. It. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know. For your visual. Sure, yeah. I absolutely. mean, it's a sign of good health. And you know? a, a, the competitor in you. I want nice skin. You know, I want good hair. <laughs> I want big loads. Right. I want nice skin. <laughs> I, want, I want clean skin. I want, I want nice a fast car. Nick Mullen, the total package. <laughs> big loads, <laughs> nice skin. I want a money yeah. clip. I want right. fat loads. Eyes, time, time eyes that look right and... to your soul. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think before we take our last break here, we should, I, wanted, I wanted to put out to the audience, and we could take some calls, that would be fun to do with Nick, about uh, either cum horror stories of too much cum, uh, we'd love to hear from some too of much, our, our women listeners. That's the dirty that, version of too much tuna. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a lot of women calling, too much cum. I, that's Those are balls. giant balls. I'd like to hear, though, if uh, that's if women give a shit about this at all, if they give a shit about the size of a load, or if, and, or terrible things that have happened because the load was too big. Guy fucking his wife's pussy until his huge balls slap against her <laughs> What is that about? What do you think that clip's about? Yeah. <laughs> I also like they're doing it clearly on the living room floor on a blanket that they keep on the back of the... Look at that guy's balls. <laughs> yeah, they're uncomfortable balls. That is a ginormous sack. So let's take our last break, and when we come back, uh, hopefully we'll have some calls. Black Lou's waiting to take your calls. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Ladies? Ladies. Men, do, do any men find to be a burden having that power to blow constant huge loads like that where women hate it? Oh, like if there's a oh, you think there's a girl that's like oh, my boyfriend just comes too much. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I'll tell you what, it really shrunk my manhood earlier when. Uh, well, you'll hear it on Thursday what Christine says right after we watched that guy shoot that uh, load. She might as well have been looking like, like she was looking at a I thought Tad she was, Hamilton on the TV. I thought she was going to stand up and give an applause break. <laughs> yeah, she. That's He's done you. it. He's done it. That is the perfect load. Six heavy ropes attached, flipping end over end across the room. It's unbelievable. Um, so give us a call, uh, 844 Comedy 9, 844 Comedy 9, uh, right here at the bonfire. We'll be back with the leader of Cumtown. He called it. Nick that. Mullen, this is the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, it's getting stank. Uh, I'm just wearing leather chaps now. <laughs> I'm all, my skin's all clammy. The whole room's taking a different turn since we watched that guy batch that huge load. Oh, yeah, just, and the huge, huge balls guy. The huge balls guy. Maybe. I just feel bad about myself. <laughs> That's yeah. Nick Mullen joining us on the bonfire, Comedy Central Radio. Sirius XM 95. I'm Big Jokers, and that's Dan Soder. Goddamn right. Um, so we have, like... Uh, not, not a lot of people have called in with ideas about cum. What? No one pulled over? Well. We had a, no we one's had a bunch, and we lost a few. No one's driving home and being like, hold on a second. 
How many people on the side of the road? The two calls we have, I'll let you pick, Dan, because you'll like this. I just okay. want you to know what they say. Sure. Uh, we have Haley from Florida. Oh, I believe that's a, that's a girl, Black Lou. Charles says, I don't think girls. I don't think girls care that much about cum. I know I don't. Okay. Where we have Cody from Illinois who says simply huge cum loads. Uh, let's go Haley first. Haley. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Haley. She's like, oh hey, aim it away from me. <laughs> hey, no, not my it. eyes. What's that? I can't believe you made it, Dan Soder. I love you so much. Oh, thanks, Haley. Yeah, I'll be over here fucking myself. Yeah. Hey, Watch. thank God we're getting that. Thank God we're getting that jiggly fake butt that talks to me, <laughs> dude. I mean, I'm gonna got... train it to say new things. Like I don't like Dan. I go, hey. you're the guy. I go, hey, <laughs> oh Dan, did you hear that? I thought I was fucking this thing really quiet in the other room. <laughs> oh, sorry, I go, Jay, you're behind the couch in the comedy office. I it's, the only thing, it's the only thing that makes my dick big enough to hit the speaker box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jeez. talk bad about Dan. Talk goes, good about me. I don't like voices. <laughs> I like you, Jay. You don't do voices. <laughs> voices are for Ew. children. Cum is gross. Voices. <laughs> so, Haley, you said you don't care at all about the amount of semen released? No. And, I mean, maybe it's just a personal preference, but I, pers- I don't care. What if it was nothing? What if literally nothing came out? Yeah, if it went like this... Yeah. Oh, that, I guess that would be disappointing. So that would be disappointing. So you do care about cum. <laughs> so we can establish that you do care about I like it. you're like a cum lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> you go, if the court pleases, yeah, yeah. Uh, would you say, you go, yeah. I want you to so shut you, your eyes. I'm cum lumbo. And, I go, <laughs> and one more thing. <laughs> Mr. Nah, I got a, one yeah, more yeah. question. One more question. Oh, yeah. I like the time to kill goes, now picture that cum dumpster. Is why. (laughs) Now imagine (laughs) that that little girl is covered in nuts. (laughs) I changed everything. I changed everything. I want you to shut your eyes. (laughs) Your dick's fully loaded. Now there's a little black girl. She is laying down, and four rednecks are standing over, her, just <laughs> dropping heavy batch. I mean, thick Mountain Dew rich. They're fucking her so hard they hit her speaker box. <laughs> <laughs> real women have also, I assume. I assume human they, women come with that. Also, yeah. women go, in lo- real life have that. They break and her they, speaker box, leaving her to <laughs> never talk out of the top of her half torso again. Yeah, this half torso. <laughs> Goes, yeah. Yeah, now, I want you to imagine that that, that foam rubber pussy was white. <laughs> yeah, goes, now, picture it's white. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, who doesn't like cum? Everyone likes cum. I think, and uh, Haley, uh, if you'll uh, allow me to let Christine chime in on this one. Christine, I believe when we watched the Peter North video upstairs... Uh, Christine was impressed with Peter North loads and mm-hmm. really said like it would make her feel if a guy just roped off a room like that yeah. it would make her feel like this guy was way into it but that's not it really isn't how there, there's no science to that I don't there, think yeah. it's interesting because it, the, I, I don't I don't want to say without a disclaimer that I have no idea but I, uh, <laughs> uh, he's uh, he's like gay because he used to do gay porn and oh things. Peter North yeah yeah people were like oh yeah he was way more into it when he was doing the gay stuff Oh, really? Yeah. He had more fire. He had more soul yeah, in his yeah, work. Yeah, So that's his, like, I guess I'll fuck this woman look. he goes, ew, yeah. I'm, right. I'm coming on her to make her leave yeah, me right. alone. Yeah, the, the cum is like pushing the pussy it, It's away. like a squid like, when he aches. Right. It's his <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his ball. It changes ink. color. Yeah, he goes, get out. He goes, mm, I like women. Ugh, get away from me. Yeah. So anyway, Haley, just so you know, Dan, your boyfriend up here, shoots big, huge, heavy, thick loads. So I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> Don't wear anything black, I guess. Tell them to come by Tampa. Yeah. Oh. Tampa? Oh. <laughs> Dan, you're going to get some of that Tampa us? <laughs> yeah. But, you were, but we've already established that uh, if he came, nothing, that would freak you out, right? Yeah. I'd be like, is this like actually happening or no? <laughs> you think he's lying? Yeah. Yeah. I've, I'd be like, are you faking this? I've shot sad enough loads before where I thought they would think I was lying. <laughs> like, oh, no, really? Oh, no. Dude, I promise it's done. I promise it's done. It's just you didn't see it. <laughs> You've also faked it before. Oh, yeah. Dude, I sure. faked it. Have you ever faked cum? Um, only after I came early, like, 20 minutes prior. <laughs> yes. No, that's <laughs> I think. And then, and then later was like, oh, yeah, no, I guess that's from now and not yeah. the congealed... 
solidified nut that's been in there for the last 20 minutes. With is... the exception of being like inebriated enough where you're like, this is not going to happen. That's, what, that's where mine were. With the exception of that. But, ah! I, think, but I, ah! think, I think in that, though, I think in that I tend to be more like, I think I'm more honest about like, yeah, it's just, it's not going to happen. It'll take forever. But if I've done that, if I've tried to pull like a sneaky, especially if me and Christine, like another chick, that's always one you don't want to give like a, a bad performance. Mm-hmm. To another, so I've definitely have kind of like slid off to the side and been like, "Oh, hey, let me get him for one second and just oh, like." Guys, like and by the, the way, window. the bummer yeah, of that yeah. is you—you you definitely am definitely sacrificing my own enjoyment of the whole situation, though, because I do that so you can get back in the game. But that orgasm is almost worthless. It's just kind of like a getting it. Like, eh, is that enough to like just get back into the game here? Okay, yeah, you just try to take enough water out so it doesn't spill <laughs> over the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll skim from the top. Okay, I'm back in. It's back on bailing balls. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're like, okay, now I'm back. Wasn't it like you always think you can get right back to it, and then after you come, you're kind of like... I can get back to it. Get back to it is not my issue. It's the it's the finishing again, possibly, could not happen. Oh, really? Or take forever. I'm going to get back to it. I'm like, eh, why? <laughs> Stuff's yeah. already gone. Yeah, I'd say, right, you could possibly do it, but who gives a shit at that point? Yeah, because then you lose the, 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 the luster to do it again. Yeah. After you come, you're like, oh, I mean, what are we doing here? <laughs> what, who are you fucking then? So you first, what the fuck have Get we out. just done? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck are People you? Well, they call into the show. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I fucking then I go, who are you? Who are you? Like a geriatric. But uh, well, thank you for calling in, Haley. And I'm sorry that come means nothing to you. I like. I don't know if this is what I was looking for particularly, but our the male callers now seem to all just calling in to tell us what How a great, great what a great huge load of yeah, cum that's they so got. funny that wasn't what I pictured when I brought this topic up. I mean this is kind of what you deserve though <laughs> it's not the, it's not the hero you want it's the hero you deserve you're like, absolutely right about that go, oh yeah bro I'm just batching mm. non-stop action came across a room and hit a painting is what uh, Tyler in Canada says I think says. that's just and something that's from just the Mr. Like, Bean movie I think that's probably George <laughs> Johnny English just one, one of those fucking what's his name <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, oh. what's that shit his name <laughs> Rowan Atkinson <laughs> yeah uh, um, Mr. B, <laughs> how who could come all the way across this yeah. room? I love when people are like, oh, "British humor is so sophisticated. <laughs> it's a mentally retarded man that doesn't speak. <laughs> <laughs> a it's, a mute, it's a mute invalid that uh, fucks yeah. things up." You guys took Mr. Magoo and just made it so he couldn't talk. Oh, yeah. No, they don't mean that. They mean the good British comedy where people dress up like women and do something else <laughs> ridiculous, chase and, each other across hallways. Oh my god, I hate it all. What is this? It's just Reddit I'm going through. You're looking through cum on Reddit? Well, there are a question. <laughs> Do you care about the quantity of cum mandolins? This is on ours? No, 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 no. I was just Googling. Oh, just in general. Mm-hmm. What do they say ultimately? We don't have a lot of women calling in. I just, I mean. All the dudes are just like, she goes, shoot dude, muscle up. Oh, man. One time I completely, about 90% covered a girl's face. <laughs> Nuts. One time I did it into a griddle. We made a short stack of pancakes out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much was in there, man. I filled, uh, I filled three solo cups. <laughs> I would call my ex-girlfriend Swamp Thing. So I'd just dump on her and then yeah. I'd make her walk across the room. And she goes, when I was done with her, she looked like... Uh, Oh, what the fuck was the guy? It would have been so great if I remember the name. At the end of RoboCop, when he oh. falls into the uh, the yeah. toxic waste and he comes out. Yeah, Elon, yeah. Elon, was that his yeah, name? Yeah, um, uh, yeah. What are they, it, you're reading the Reddit, but there's, I'm a woman who loves facials, so when there's a lot, I love it. I love how warm and silly it feels. Oh, silky. <laughs> that <was> silly. <laughs> it feels yeah. silly. silly. Give me that clown nut. You do feel pretty <laughs> silly. I want to feel like uh, it's my birthday. I want a pratfall nut. I want to take this call, because, uh, and we'll take it in one second here, but Dan from Connecticut says, load side depends on where you put it. I want him to explain that, because, yeah. I mean, does he mean, like, perspective? Like, I have a small load for, like, uh, like Christine's yeah. butt, but if I do it like to a Cabbage Patch doll's butt, <laughs> yeah. it's an enormous load. No, I, I think he means like directly into her eye. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. right. There's you no, t- open there's no that t- eye up. <laughs> oh, dude, get right in there. There's no too small amount of cum for a woman's eye. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even a drop will do it. It's like Barilla cream. A little dab will do it. Yeah. Hey. I said it's Christine- always funny because it looks uh, all, all facials look like women getting hit. With uh, squirt guns, right. where they're wearing Sundays like yeah. clothes, like they look clothes. like they're at a fundraiser for the fire department. Yeah, they go, oh, you know, okay, and like ah, oh, that's all you got, and you gotta. I sent uh, I sent Christina a video one time. 
going like, I go, this is what I, I'm jerking off to right now. Because she was trying to call me or something. I was like, stop. And just like jokingly, I sent her the video that I was watching. And uh, and I go, it's a great video. And it's just like a chick getting fucked by a bunch of dudes. You know, it's the, yeah. the cuckold shit or whatever. And it's like, it's like woman fucks like 10 dudes or something. And then they all come on her face. And I was like, wasn't that awesome? Like, that was a pretty hot video, right? Christine goes, it looks like she hates it. And I was like, really? I go, I don't know. I thought she loves it. And then if you pull back at it, notice the name of the video was like, Woman Hates Getting 50 Cum Shots. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Woman oh. Violently Raped in Public. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she likes it. I Jay goes nuts. It's, it's like, that's Union yeah, Square. Yeah, right? <laughs> secu- <laughs> the security camera footage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I like real amateur stuff. <laughs> yeah. I like what's really amateur. Yeah. I think a cop draws a gun at the end. <laughs> Uh, Dan in yeah, Connecticut load wearing, side depends on where you put it what does that mean they're all wearing Steubenville Tigers <laughs> yes yes um, I actually well uh, from what was just said it's it's really much like what you guys do with comedy it's all about context mm-hmm. that's what really matters and in the eye it doesn't matter if it's a big or a little one any amount is going to be unpleasant yeah yeah yeah, and you're gonna get complaints. But as far as oh, Christine's right Christine's there, eye, Christine's eye shuts off like fucking Rocky too. Dan I mean, sounds Dan shut. sounds like a fellow cum lawyer to me. <laughs> he goes, Nick. I respect all the cases you argued. Uh, I just want to let you know that cum is actually assault. Yeah, I mean you... Esquire does sound like somebody that comes professionally. Yeah, my name is James Baldwin Esquire. <laughs> I come a lot. There's got to be women out there. With the, I mean, Christine's Christine's got no, but Christine's got uh, your eyes are always kind of like a uh, itchy rashy thing. There's got to be girls who are actually allergic to like. I wonder if like oh, if you could like be allergic, skin, but skin so sensitive that if it hits your skin, it leaves. Oh, like you got a like mark. alien blood. I, oh I, yeah, like yeah. when you open it up, it's all acidic. You came on me. Oh! That would rule. <laughs> that would rule. That's like what seventh grade boys think. Dude, dude, if I could come acid, that's sick. I mean, I think that now. I want huge balls and I want to come acid. Oh, wow. What a bad, the bad boy. Hell yeah, dude. The bad boy of podcast. 140 foot yacht, you know? Dude, money clip. Yeah. <laughs> Slap bracelet. That's something I can't have now, a money no, clip. No. There's no way I can afford a money clip. You have to wait till you come acid. Yeah. Um, These Reddit women are really into cum. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you got that one clean, Lou. Got it. This uh, is, yeah. I mean, being part of the R slash sex community is almost as bad as having that talking pussy that you fuck. <laughs> I agree. You're I like, oh, yeah, I spent a, uh, the whole day just drinking tea and posting with my friends on the R slash sex subreddit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really, I don't really go out or have hobbies. I post on the r slash sex subreddit she goes, about how much this, I love cum. She goes, my cum post from eight hours ago is getting a lot of heat. She goes, man, I went into a rabbit hole of cum posts. <laughs> on. Um, well, guys, I'm getting upvoted on my fucking cum posts. So Dan, that is what you were talking about. It's where you put it because you're right. On a big, huge pair of titties, a little sad weep. couple of drips is going to be worthless. Weep, weep. You got to hose those down. But if you're going well, for honestly, you know, from what I found with personal experience is the best way to keep everybody happy is it goes in, you're done, she goes, it goes out. She comes back, everybody's fine. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> All right. What are you fucking yeah, on a yeah, hardware sex store? Sex is simple. The dick gets hard, the dick gets soft, it goes in, it comes out, the dick gets hard again, it goes in, it's out, and that's sex. There's a baby, <laughs> you raise a family, God damn it. you put food on the goddamn table. <laughs> so I'll tell you what happens. You meet a liar. A liar that tricks you into getting naked with her. You go in, you go out. Next thing, you eat a sandwich. Then you've been married seven years. <laughs> and you know, you're up late night, you're watching Honeymooners reruns, because they're showing them still on the Night. You give a loser brother a job, he steals money from you, you know? So, yeah, I guess it is context the way you put the cum. <laughs> uh, ben in, thanks for the call, Dan. Ben in Colorado says he wants to explain how much cum actually matters. How much cum a woodchuck could come if a woodchuck could, could got cum cucked? Cum? If a woodchuck got cock cucked? Ben? Yes. And you're coming from Colorado. That's Dan's home state. Ben also, immediately off the bat, I think he's another cum lawyer. <laughs> you can just hear the glasses being pushed up by his own erection that he's trying to suck. <laughs> well, if you excuse me. Okay, let me get these uh, glasses. <laughs> ah, these, let me move aside my thick law cum books. <laughs> let me check the torts on this. Cum load to the eye. Uh, ben, how much does cum actually matter? 
Well, it depends. According to my... <laughs> this is such a it cool matters a lot. <laughs> they don't pay for less than a three-day build-up. They don't what? They don't pay for less than a three-day build-up. Oh, when you go to give sperm. Yes. I, if, if I were to donate, it would be uh, no, no less than three days. Oh, so but gotta, isn't that? But isn't that based so off? off of, I was saying, isn't that based off of though the actual like, sp- not the amount of fluid? Isn't that more with like what's in the fluid? Though I think you want more. Yeah, you need more pulp in the orange juice. Yes, it's a matter right. of the pulp. It's not the juice itself. You could shoot down right. a whole bunch of juice with nothing in it. It's a thing for the buck. Is what yeah. They want. So you got to audi when you go donate. Come, you have to are you can it. <laughs> right? You got to really you gotta summon pull, it. You got to pull it back. And you got to summon it. three days of jizz. And then you go are you can. And you go all right. Take a look at it. There's a lot of pulp in there. Right? <laughs> a lot of pulp in there. Um, that's fair enough. <laughs> that's, that's, How about Kamir in Oakland? Who I'm assuming is a is a black friend of ours. Says the culture thing. He likes to give. And tell me this, Kamir. What kind of come do you like to do? Um, as long as I'm giving a bitch war paint, that's all I'm really concerned war with. Paint. That is what makes me happier than anything else. Is what does that mean? Like three, does that mean like it's, three stripes on the cheek? Exclusively fucks women that look like Marlon Brando in Apocalypse <laughs> Now. <laughs> yeah, no, you can, you, you can get real precise with it. It's almost like a Picasso-esque. Wait, wait, like decorating a cake? No, I think, like, I, know yeah, coming, yeah. I, think I know he's coming from yeah. here. Is this talking about where you just make, so you just basically, you treat maybe her, let's call it her tits, or her stomach or chest like your like your palate and you put the paint on there mm-hmm. and then you take a pinky finger oh wait Ur- and go in maybe and paint with the finger uh, where you'd like it to be Come Urban, here. Urban. I, I mean I, you could use you could use your dickhead as a brush but sure pinky finger if you want to really get in there well I'm a detail guy <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> sorry I do realistic portraits so I'm sorry but, <laughs> maybe, with, the, maybe if I'm doing a scenescape or an ocean view I, I mean can, just What's um, from like the black bonfire contingency? Like, is is it like is the the size of the batch? Is that a big deal? Because like that's what I was trying to explain. Like, I don't give a fuck how much. That's what we're asking. I just want to do with it. Oh, so you just need a little bit of paint to make a lot of art. You don't oh, care about yeah. having a yeah, lot you of stre- paint. You can yeah. stretch a small load. I mean, it's slick. Also, it's slippery. Which, yeah. I'm, for the war paint, it's like which tribe are you going to try? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Iroquois, Iroquois, yeah. Go, I will give you the paint of the Lakota. <laughs> Iroquois, for you are ready to have you, your face came on like a Comanche. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, I'm real big on the uh, even in porn. I care, really. If a guy, yeah, I prefer the guy really hose it down. You want a guy that packs a wallop? I do. That's why people. But I'm not alone in that. That's Could why Peter North was such a. That's why he's such a known name in pornography. Yeah, is that reason? I'm always like me. I don't really care. I'm like, uh, I'm like your, fa- your favorite porn star is Small Load Tony. Yeah, I go. You guys don't know. He, yeah, they call him Polka Dot. I think he just shoots little tiny loads. Oh, rain, oh, raindrop Maxwell. Oh, yeah. You guys want Gumdrop? You guys want Gumdrop Thomas? And they said it's sweet, thick, and small. Uh, they call him Indian Indian Tear Tom. Yeah. Bleep. There he goes. Oh, I'm gonna send it. Oh. Bleep. Yeah, dude, I, I don't think it's like, um, well, the war paint, the Urban Dictionary says war paint comes shot to explode the most powerful load into the face of some poor, unsuspecting prey. That's, That's a weird, weird way to say it. I don't like that. The result should end with a cum drenched in the victim's entire face and every facial orifice. Seriously, in the eyebrows, hair, nostrils, eyeballs, and everywhere. Let's play it out now. Dan, you want the chick or the guy? Uh, I'll do the chick. Okay. Give it to me! Okay, sploosh! What the fuck? I almost drowned. <laughs> oh, 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 dude, those girls never look like they're having a good time. There's no way women like a lot of cum. I haven't well, those- been seeing on Reddit all these girls that are like, I just love cum on my face. I'm like, are you trying to impress men through Reddit? Like or, as they read, it's a it's weird a, perspective to speak from. Yeah, or it's like a normal. Is this Bates. guy at a music festival? Yeah, he was, <laughs> he all day pass. He's got a South vibe. <laughs> he goes, wrist strap. This one gets you a meal. Yeah. This, one, this one gets you into yeah. the after parties. Yeah, I'm going to go see Imagine Dragons after this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm, I'm stopping in at the the uh, uh, Natural uh, Spirits uh, cum load. Yeah, I'm at the Tito's Vodka Cum yeah, Tank. Right, yeah. Actual quote, though, that was said on Motorboat, the Motorhead cruise we performed in the one year, mm-hmm. from a guy I know who was fucking a chick 
who neither of them really wanted to fuck each other. It was just Cruz fucking. And the girl goes, can you try to come quick? Slayer starts in like 15 minutes. That's a great <laughs> sentence. That's a great sentence. Hey, you want to hurry this up? Uh, Jim in Detroit says, uh, come here. Thanks for the call, buddy. Um, Jim in Detroit says his wife is allergic, is allergic to cum. It burns her. Yep. Or is that what she tells you, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> you know, as soon as I said it out loud, I was like, that sounds like something she told you. <laughs> oh, no, I totally would. Oh, no, I'd love you to hose oh. my face down. Really give me a good fucking... Baby, you're going to have to go come in the bathroom in like a, <laughs> in very, a medicinal sense. I need you to do it in this. Uh... Uh, Jim, what did she say? What You saw it happen? Well, first of all, it's pretty cool because it makes me feel like the predator. Like, every yeah. time I come in, they're like, dude, it's, it's a powerful feeling. But, so yeah, it... and she tells me, like, Every time that it burns like hell, and like she's always got to get up and shower afterwards, and like I don't know, I, you I make, pretty much believe her. But you should make her uh, right before you come. You should make her yell, "What the hell are you?" And you go, <laughs> 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 and I think when she's asleep, you should fucking cum write stuff on her back. <laughs> she wakes up with a hive that says "idiot" or something. Oh, oh you goes, jerk! He goes, "I had to wait. I had to watch so much porn and wait up all night to get that done." <laughs> I only got to the O, and I thought I was tapped. <laughs> Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Julia. It's a very rare, uh, this is off Google, it's very rare to be allergic to sperm. Common symptoms are itching, burning, or <laughs> swelling within a few minutes to an hour after contact with semen. However, if you develop a rash or an itchiness after intercourse, it's very unlikely to be from a sperm allergy, also known as human sen- seminal plasma hypersensitivity. It's like a nebbish Jewish guy that goes into anaphylactic shock every time he comes in his <laughs> yeah, he goes, He's like, oh boy, it's happening again. <laughs> Guys, someone get a pen. Get my pen and jam it into my heart. Oh boy, oh no. <laughs> I saw a pretty right lady. My hog. <laughs> Guys, my windpipe is closing because I just threw a bunch of cum in my shorts. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking... Have you ever had a chick complain about cum ever? Uh, Like, yeah, don't cum. Oh, well, that's yeah. that's the worst thing to say. It is the worst thing to say. It's going know. to happen, though. I'm the Zimini right now. It is funny getting no, you older, go, though. I actually- didn't, and then 20 minutes later, you're like, now I did. You know? But, you know. I know the you truth. know. <laughs> you know. I, uh, I've i actually done the mid... If you have, like, two false stops, you know what I mean, where you have to stop to be like, hey, wait, 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 wait. I'll do and you go in again for another, like, 30 seconds, you're like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. That's when I really start... I actually start employing the hackneyed ridiculous i never believed it was true like start thinking like okay i gotta pay this bill and then yeah, yeah. Uh, tomorrow i gotta wake up so i'll probably set an alarm but <laughs> like, it's on ever- autopilot fucking just to give yourself like two minutes of like have you ever came uh too early while you're trying to take that break so you're like all right i'm gonna take and you go stop stop, stop. And you're like, it's just it's happening it's just mm-hmm. <laughs> you're yeah, out right. of the puss and it's just leaking out into the yeah. condom like, yeah, 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 yeah. ah, no. <laughs> but those are the ones i try to ring out real quick and then Dude. jump back in the game and then so you say and then 25 minutes later you end up going like ooh. <laughs> by the way i'm a pretty good actor at a real I, I don't know if i could do it now but there's definitely like i do a good like i'll even throw a fake like the, the like uh Wait, don't touch it. Oh, <laughs> dude, I did that. Like when they touch you, go, you don't, t- don't touch it. It's so sensitive. It's I, not at all. I got, I was fucking, I was the goddamn <laughs> Anthony Hopkins of fake coming. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it stings. Oh, it's still tickly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude, watching it, watching it come when you try to take that break, it's like you're the friend that got shot in the war movie. We go, oh, just go on without me. I'm leaking, man. I'm fucking dying over here. <laughs> oh, that was the worst. I remember this girl in Albuquerque. It was the first girl I ever had sex with on the road. She was so hot. And she was like, don't come yet. And I like, pulled out to stop. And I was like, it's just, it's happening. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Should I go? I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. Uh, Jim, I'm sorry to hear that. I guess, uh, I guess enjoy coming in your own hand. That's not very sexy at all, huh? He's like, I'm going to no, finish. No, not usually. Do you have to put on? Do you have to put on uh, high rubber gloves like you're handling fucking plutonium? <laughs> <laughs> he puts on a thing. He goes. Let me put the welder's mask down when he comes. His what wa- happens? Did you guys try to have? Do you have kids? Yeah, we got three kids, man. So it doesn't burn her inside the gash. Are they <laughs> fucked up? Or are they like no, just very angry? They're <laughs> <laughs> all heated. Yeah, They're yeah. bright red. <laughs> One day I'll burn this world. <laughs> I'll burn it to the ground. Your kids are half you, half allergy. <laughs> Do you know what it's like? Yeah. Do you know what it's like to walk around hating yourself? Yeah. Every day's a new nightmare. <laughs> the sun hurts. I, the cold hurts. I wake this is up. Is this monster? <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how I was born? Yeah. 
<laughs> My mother was allergic to cum. <laughs> We're moving in. We're moving in. Uh, thanks for the call, Jim. I don't know if we've learned anything I about we have. cum today. But we talked an hour with cum with Nick Mullen, who yeah. hosts Cum Town, which you can download on iTunes. So make sure you go do that. Uh, fucking hilarious. Him, Stav, and Adam. Um, iTunes, Cum Town again. And then Big J Ogerson is going to be in Cleveland April 26th through April 28th and then uh, headlining Caroline's May 3rd through the 6th for tickets and other tour dates go to BigJComedy.com uh, Dan Soder going to be at the Rhode Island Comedy Connection April 27th and 28th and the Loft Comedy Club in Chicopee, Massachusetts that's April 29th after that you can catch him at the Comedy Mix in Vancouver May 3rd through May 5th for tickets and all the tour dates visit DanSoder.com uh, make sure you check out Season 3 of Billions, airing Sunday nights, 10 p.m. on Showtime. And, of course, get your tickets for Antone's The Moon Tower Fuck yeah. Comedy Festival uh, coming up April 20th. It's going to be a lot of fun, buddy. Yeah, dude. Nick, thanks so much for hanging out, dude. Hey, you are fucking, for having me. You're hilarious, you dude. Please great. come back anytime, man. Me, My favorite show on Serious. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, Russ. Serious Jay, I love you. Fuck you, Serious. Love you, too, but I'll see you tomorrow. Let's shoot ropes at each other. Want to shoot some ropes? I'm not allergic to your See if I can hit you from here. <laughs> Let's find out. If we're, we should find out if we're allergic to each other's cum, at least. I mean, we have to. I mean, just on a friendship level. Just fun. Just fun. Yeah, we're, we're going to be jizz brothers. Instead jizz of blood bros. brothers. Just tuna can our hands and fucking oh, yeah. just cum in each other's hands. <laughs> yeah. Trial by fire. <laughs> jizz uh, bros. Look, everybody, disclaimer, don't try that at home. Yeah. Or do. Or do it. We'll be back tomorrow. Crackle, crackle.